podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Suave the limit, baby. Boxing Voice.com. We don't, we don't fight. We don't fight for rings and stuff like that. I don't fear anyone. In this sport, no se viene a jugar y no le tengo miedo a nadie. You don't have to play in this sport. I fear no one in this sport. Does that mean that you will fight Triple G later this year? Como lo dije en la pelea pasada, ahorita mismo me vuelvo a poner los guantes. As I said in the last fight, right now I'll put on the gloves again. Viva Mexico! Never wants to unify all the titles. When did you realize, Andy, that you could take his power? Because of the Mexican warrior that I am, I got that Mexican blood in me. So, talking about the Mexican style, I just proved it. Boxingboys.com. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing boys. Go! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another morning edition with the Boxing Voice Radio. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way into the live stream. We're back and we're talking the face of boxing. The guy that gets the needle moving, Canelo Alvarez. And the fact that there is an alleged potential fight that could be taking place versus Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Dervichenko. I know this was something that was on the table in the past. Uh, and that was before Gennady Golovkin fought him and before Sergey Dervichenko's stock rose. So this is what we're going to be discussing. If you're interested, you already know the number to call in. 1-425-569-5241. Press 1. One time. Voice your opinion right here on the Voice of the People Hotline. Don't forget to add Nestor Gibbs on Skype to be part of the conversation from anywhere in the world. Let's rock. Let me head on out to uh, who's rocking with us this morning. Wait, I'm actually doing this? All right, so who's going over here? We got Mongia. What up? It's me, Mario. What is up, fellas? Yo, Canelo Dervichenko. I'm I'm probably not going to get the credit because Ness isn't the one that said it. But, yo, I, I, I kind of threw this out there on Saturday or no, Friday. I, for whatever, we had the Canelo show. And I thought, yo, this is probably not going to happen, but it's a fight I definitely like. We definitely chop it up. They all call us Canelo fanboys anyway, so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to rock the headband. What, wh- whatever. What's up, fellas? What up, what up, what up? Heading on out to... I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynch is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody else. I'm Sonny Listen. I'm Jack Dippy. There's no one like me. I'm from there. There's no one that can match. Chee! Good morning, y'all. We back at it again. And yeah, this is Canelo time. You know, I'm excited about this talk. If it would have happened, if it does happen... I like it. You know, he beats Devrachenko in a good fashion. He proves that he is way better than Golovkin. And that maybe it's not as a good of a fight that we might expect. Let it to the be, right? mic go, homie. Yeah, I know, champ. Woo! But send it out to my man, Cash Weezy. Get that cup of coffee ready. If you're across the pond, get that cup of tea ready. If that's what you fancy. Champ! What's up, man? Yes, yes, good morning, good morning. I'm literally fresh off the bed. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody got the Canelo headband on. I have one, I cannot find it. Damn, why are you re- messing things up? I acquired mine at the Canelo Triple G fight number two. Or was it Canelo Kovalev? Now nah, it was Co- Canelo Triple G number two. And Dermachenko put it on Golovkin. Will he put it on Canelo? Yo, why are these fight matchmaking coming out now, man, and not being announced officially, though? What up? I mean, because his fight's not till September. That's just the bottom line. But uh, yeah, but still you know, announcements are made, you know. So 
Yeah, but again, <laughs> again, remember, we we talking Canelo. He was in discussions with someone that was out of the country. So this is a in-state replacement. You know what I mean? Instead of worrying about travel bans and can they be lifted or are they going to be lifted in time, this is an in-state replacement. Uh, and this is just one of the many considerations. I just received information that even Anthony Durrell has been is being considered, which is what? Yeah, I'm gonna send you guys the link now, which is crazy. As a Canelo fight, as a Canelo fight, as a Canelo fight. You said fight. Anthony Durrell. Anthony yeah. Durrell. Wow. Yeah, Mike Coppinger went out this morning and uh, said that that might be a possibility. And yeah. you know, Canelo Listen. Alvarez is willing to fight in a crowdless setting. So yeah. Um, and remember, know, who, remember, they made a phone call to Caleb Plant, so they don't care PBC. It's not like Canelo hasn't fought Laura, PBC, Trout, PBC, you know, Jacobs, Canelo, PBC, you know. So, like, it, it, it's been done before. Well, they weren't PBC technically at the time, but I get what you're saying. Um, so, uh, just a few Al facts Heyman before. Then. Al Heyman, sure. Yeah, that works. Uh, so, <laughs> just a few. No, I was being serious. That, yeah, it's a better way to say it. So, real quick, before uh, y'all chop it up, let me just give some facts. Uh, the fight is being proposed for September 14th, which, if you remember, was the date that uh, they were talking about Billy Joe when Billy Joe's fight uh, was potentially getting canceled. And, and they were talking about Triple G when the Billy Joe fight was supposed to take place in May. So, September 14th has always been the, uh, you know, the tenuous date. Um, and, uh, right now the facts other than that are pretty scarce. We know now that Ness, uh, said Mike Coppinger has added Durrell's name to the list and, uh, there are still other fighters being scouted and other fighters with potential shots. So, uh, whoever wants to take it first. Yo, so Dervinchenko versus Canelo, Durrell versus Canelo, which is the hardcore fans' real favorite fight? Oh, Dervachenko. Dervachenko, man. Come on. Anthony Derevchenko, Durrell, like miles away. Anthony Durrell is so far removed. But now, I mean, we got to think about it like this. At least Anthony Durrell is a, is a true 168, maybe even 175 at this point. Oh, been, I don't hate it. I don't hate that fight. Yeah, I was Because Dervachenko never fought at 68. At least Canelo tried 68. You're going to yeah. move Dervachenko up. Don't get... You know, caught in the facade of the big name, he's not fighting at his natural weight. Yeah, but uh, is he? Isn't he? Is he? You know, he's the same size as a uh, um, as Canelo. I don't see that being a huge problem. But he never Pretty fought sure. at sixty eight, so he doesn't have any experience moving around with those extra eight pounds plus the extra weight that you gain after the weigh in. I don't know. He's Damn, kind of and and lot. also bringing up experience, I didn't even know Dervinchenko is only a thirteen. He only has thirteen pro fights. Damn, what is that? I, real? I mean, he been moving. He's been moving. Like he 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 didn't really do any anything little. Like he has fifteen pro fights. You know, he's been taking on good names. He started with I think Toriano Johnson, and then you know a couple of Jack Cool Clay fights. He's been trying to get these fights. It's not like he wasn't in negotiations with you know Canelo in the past already. Uh, it's just he didn't take that five point, you know, five million that they offered him for Canelo. Instead, he took that same amount for Gennady. And he had a crazy amateur background too. Yo, but uh, if you if you if you're Dervinchenko, think about it. It's like yo, you turned down Canelo for five point five. People said you're crazy, and now look, you're back in the runnings for Canelo off a loss. Gamble on yourself. Huh? A loss of Gennady Golovkin, who also lost against Canelo Alvarez. And who a lot of people had him losing too, uh, Cash. A lot of people didn't didn't see Can, uh, Gennady beat. Nah, Dervinchenko. I know. So which gives gives the story behind Dervinchenko. You know, he's, he's a rough house fighter. So and, it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I was gonna say a common opponent, uh, Daniel Jacobs, also on his res, a um, eh? So uh, real quick, it says that uh, Anthony Durrell, uh, and this is from Michael Benson I'm seeing, Anthony Durrell is reportedly another opponent being considered for Canelo in September as well as Dervachenko. It's claimed Saunders' fight could still happen, but Golden Boy are exploring cheaper options for it being behind closed doors. Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh. Go, Ness. Yo, repeat that last sentence again. He said specifically it, the word that is spelled with C H. But Golden Boy are exploring cheaper options for oh, it being behind closed doors. Oh, remember, remember when uh, J Mac like, oh, y'all some Canelo fanboys, and I'm like, bro, the the, the the situation that we in, 
they looking for the fight that spends the least amount of money. And there you go. Cheaper options. <laughs> thank you. Thank Damn, you. That's, that's why Rosado still makes sense. Rosado still makes it because, honestly, who knows Sergey Dervinchenko like that? Like, hardcores are going to be happy, and they're going to call me some sort of weirdo because, obviously, you should want Dervinchenko over Rosado, but... If you're the zone and you and and I, and if you're a boxing fan, right? If you're a boxing fan that wants boxing to succeed, you want Rosado to fight him. Why? Because Rosado will bring more subscriptions than fucking Sergey Dervichenko. Perhaps you're right, but at the same time, I would rather have Darrell over Rosado. It, hey, it's really, just, really. It's just because he's been he's beaten so much, and I, you know, so I'm not saying Darrell's is undefeated, but I don't know. I think that that's a more it's a tougher fight. In terms of competitiveness, but I think that you're right. Rosado would be a war. I think. Well, I think we don't Rosado. You. you need more people. Yeah, nah, of course. Durrell, he crazy. Oh, yeah. Yo, Durrell, Durrell's a boxer, and that's cool. He's a fighter, but Rosado can entertain you. You know, he's an entertainer. So, and I look at it as like. You know, he's Puerto Rican. He's going to wave the flag. He's going to come in there. Puerto Rico you versus see, Mexico. Seen him on Yo, Creed. Yo, Puerto Rico the, versus yeah, Mexico. He, he was or, in the movie, right? Or yeah, Ukraine he, versus Mexico. Come on. He fought, he, fought, he fought Gennady Golovkin. You know, all that shit comes up. He was a bloodbath. You know, they're going to show him as, like, you know, another victim. Yo, but the Texas rich kid, Chiso Massacre. Rich kid said Rosado going to bleed to death. Ain't that what you need for TV? Think about the Badu, Badu <laughs> Jack fight. You ain't saying that about Linares. Let's keep the same energy, champ. Think, think you about, know, but... <laughs> think about the Badu Jack fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you not entertained? Yeah, but think about, blood. The, think about the Israel Vasquez fight. Think about the Eric Morales-Danny Garcia fight. Like, guys that have scar tissue on their face, they just bust open. And, I mean, what, what would it be like to have Canelo come back during these times for a fight to get stopped in the third round because of a cut, you know what I mean? So uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm not fully on board with that. But real quick, I do want to say, look, Dervinchenko is – he is a Cinderella type of story. This dude has made clout off of two losses. I mean <laughs> it's it's unheard of. And and I'm not and I'm not even trying to make fun of him. I mean it is kind of a, a you know, funny situation I guess, humorous. But ultimately this guy has – come from the ashes like a phoenix and is now positioned himself now granted the circumstances had to be kind of perfect for this fight to take place but i'm sorry i know i'm wearing the headband i know what they're gonna say but bravo canelo he could take anybody he wanted this time including rosado as we're clearly willing to give him the pass and this man's willing to go after Dervinchenko who in my opinion say what you want about him coming up to 68 the risk rewards are just the ratios off the charts I like the Dervinchenko fight at, at all of them obviously you know that that would be the, the most competitive fight and then how would it look you know Canelo gets by Dervinchenko in a, in a dominating fashion what you know it's going to tell us a lot you know about about Triple G even though Triple G's coach saying that you know Gennady wasn't 100 percent for that fight um, I don't know how much truth or what exactly that hundred percent really accounts for it, but uh, we obviously saw Triple G not looking too good that day against Devachenko. But uh, we never seen Devachenko go to the body the way he did. You know, uh, he 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 really really dug to the body. I think that's the, the what made a difference. But with Canelo, he's gonna be going up against the uh, the master body puncher. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's gonna Look, be a I dangerous fight. I learned about Dervinchenko obviously through Gennady Golovkin, and uh, I feel like it's gonna be a good hardcore fight. And I would say I'm a hardcore fan because Dervinchenko became that marquee name and is recognized to me in my eyes as like a bigger threat than Rosado or Anthony Durrell. So I want to go Dervinchenko all the way. Word. Dervichenko is the sexy fight. I mean, the better name for a hardcore, man. He ain't doing nothing for the zone, man. He ain't doing nothing for the zone. Listen, look. the article says the zone still wants Billy Joe. Cause nobody knows Dervinchenko. His biggest right. win is what? What's his biggest win? Like, really? What's his biggest win? Hey. His biggest fan win is the Gennady Golovkin. Nah, nah, that ain't no win. That ain't no nah, win. The, lo 
I think he won more than his freaking wins. He, he ain't win, and that's what I'm well saying. Said, at least, well said. at least Anthony Durrell beat freaking a couple Nobody of people. Nobody know Anthony Durrell either. No, they know same, him more than him. They the know him more than him. Know Durvinchenko, no Durrell. And, you crazy. And, you nah, crazy. They, they know Durrell. They, they know, know Durrell, that. bro. Yeah, Durrell. Bro, Durrell. Bro, listen, Durrell. listen, you know listen. Why? Yo, Durrell's been fighting since 2005. Stop playing. Yeah. Okay. Stop playing for what? On television. Yeah. And he fought big names. Badu All Jack. big names. He fought Saki Obika twice. He fought Badu Jack, Caleb Truax, Dennis Douglin, Abraham Han, and, 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 Yivin, Yirdin, and David Benavid. You right. You right, but you can't name nothing for for, for, for Dervinchenko. Nothing. Not Jack Kuke. Jack Kuke. Shadows Man, who the fight. hell is Jack Kuke? I mean, you exactly. know they throw him in there. With Gennady Golovkin shadows all those fighters. Enrique you can't pick out Kuke from a lineup. Put two pictures up right now. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not even at a lunch together. Exactly. <laughs> Bruh, come on, man. We out here wilding like we campaigning for a dude that ain't done nothing. First of all, if Canelo fights anybody, they're going to tune in. First of all. So it could be Dervinchenko. Bruh, would be a, but we know that. We know that. But right now, it ain't a rumor. Financial Times is reporting the zone need money. If you a boxing fan... Or you a moonlighter, that's different. If you still a football fan looking at Heisman trophies and all that garbage, then this ain't the conversation for you. But as a boxing fan, I don't want the zone to go broke. Dervianchenko ain't doing nothing for them. He ain't bringing mm. nothing. He ain't bringing subscribers and he ain't keeping subscribers. Bro, you, you forgetting the one fact is Canelo is being televised on the zone. And if you don't have a subscription, you can't watch. And it, we not tuning in because of his matchup with Anthony Durrell, you know? So it's as equal as him fighting Dermanchenko. Yeah, I said it a long time ago, several shows ago. I thought Billy Joe Saunders was the bigger name than Caleb Plant and uh, David Benavidez. And you said, nah, that ain't the fight. I, I, I Real quick, let me just introduce Dominique. What's going on, Dominique Paramore? How is, uh, what is it, Cincinnati on there? Where you at? Oh Ohio, my gosh, Cleveland? you gotta get it right. Cleveland is definitely going in my TBB intro, cause you gotta know. Okay. It ain't Omaha. So 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 <laughs> let me ask you: Can you pick Dervianchenko out of a lineup? Absolutely not. And I do know who Anthony Durrell is. Thank you. Brown skin, got the half little beard puffs on both sides. Have like, you, where have you seen Anthony Durrell? Like, how do you know him? Oh, my gosh. He fought Badu Jack. That was, like, a really good fight that I watched. Um, and I seen him, you know, just face recognition. I think there maybe was some speculation about him taking some fights and some interviews. And, like, he'd be ringside a lot. Like, I like him. You're right. You're right. See what I'm saying? I don't know what casual talking about. So, he don't pop up on your timeline? You know, and PBC. No, no, timeline. Like, your lot. social media timeline. Do you yeah. see him pop mm -hmm. up on your social media timeline? Because that's what, no. that's casual. No. like barometer. He's like, he ain't on my timeline, no. so wait, I don't know him. No, 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 no. He don't got to be on the timeline. No. But during the broadcast, though, PBC talks about him. Like, they'll always kind of hype him or speculate him or, you know what I'm saying? They keep his name floating around. That's fine, and that's easy to say. What I'm saying is that <laughs> he didn't match against anybody that then your loss gets you recognized. That's why we talk about Rosado. You know, Rosado ain't a freaking on a streak and a win streak. He got nine losses, and we recognize him because who he fought. Dermanchenko fought the celebrated Gennady Golovkin, who fought the top of the food chain, Canelo Alvarez. I hear your argument now. I see your and, argument. And Gennady Golovkin got... Hands put on him by Dervinchenko, who I did not know until that fight. Mm -mm. So yeah, that he did, he did get a lot promo. of clout. We did a film study Tuesday and <laughs> judged that fight. And that's, everybody was into that. That's going to help with promo. Like, you fought GGG, but it's not casual fans don't know who he is because of that fight. Bro, you off. I'm going to say I'm <laughs> off that one. I, I think she right. I think she right. I don't think because of the loss. <laughs> All I'm, of a sudden, people know him. Did he gain some fans? Yeah. F.A. Ajagba. Listen, think about this. F.A. gained like 4,000 fans when my man walked out the ring. So how much did Dervichenko really get for losing, bruh? Look, what I'm saying is this. Yeah. You don't, <laughs> you, don't get, you don't get recognition immediately 
from Kaju fan. Look, I, I'm a marquee fighter name. Like, I don't, all those names you named that Andre uh, Durrell for, I'm not like, I don't even know who they are. Like, if they weren't in big lights, I'm not seeing the fight. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm really saying. Be, I think you I mentally really blocking it out because they are big names. Yeah, they are. Okay. The by, by dude, wait, Jack. Wait. Stop, yeah. let's stop. We're talking about hardcore. No, no, Badu Jack is promoted. Badu Jack Badu Jack is promoted by TMT and Mayweather promotions. Badu oh, Jack's yeah, been on Badu Jack's been on the biggest pay-per-views in boxing history. And Period. he's flashy, like Period. House and like Mayweather, you're forgetting like that. News. You're forgetting like he's he... been on the biggest pay-per-views oh, ever. So we gonna we gonna compare Badu Jack to Gennady Golovkin, who was the boogeyman to Canelo Alvarez for about four years and fought him twice and was debated that he beat him or and then debated that he lost against but, him. But you, look at what you're doing. The biggest you, name in boxing? Get out of here, man. You don't know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yo, you using, you using Gennady's resume to somehow give cachet to Dervianchenko, bro. No, what I'm saying is that he's more recognized Bait Canelo, I mean Gennady is more recognized than any of Andre Durrell's opponents. But see, David the Benavides? one thing, the one thing I would go towards is I would say though, it, regardless of who they fought and and all this, it's like yo, one of them has fought legit on national TV. I think it was Fox, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember where it was, but one of them is fought on national TV. The other one's only ever fought on DAZN in front of American audiences. You know what I mean? Like, the biggest fights that this man has had have been on DAZN. Exactly. And so that's a that's a tough way to No really... one knows him, bruh. Listen, yeah. listen. I'm not Anthony Durrell, Anthony Durrell at least for recently, David Benavides. That's a new hype, La Bandera Roja. He was killing it on the undercard of Earl Spence. They was cheering for him. His fan who's base bigger, is who's huge. Bigger, who's, who's bigger? Who's bigger? Daniel Jacobs or Badu Jack? Uh, they around the same. They around the same. I think Daniel nah, Jacobs nah, is much Mario, bigger, listen, actually. you know why you can't say that? Because Daniel Jacobs has failed on pay-per-view twice. Where, uh, uh, you know, Badu's never Numbers. been a uh, A-side paper. Like, he's never done his own. Pa he's been on pay-per-view. Undercard's never pay-per-view. So, how could you say Daniel's bigger? Why? Because he did two pay-per-views that weren't successful? Because he's been on he's been on Corona bottles because they've pushed him and his story about cancer all and, right. and all yeah. of that. He's resonated. So why doesn't with it translate? Audiences. Why doesn't but it translate to numbers? Because of his story, I remember he ain't have a house and maybe the, yeah, the house. The reason why I mentioned that they're the both great stories. That, take pay per view out the equation. Daniel Jacobs fought Canelo Alvarez. Daniel Jacobs fought Triple G. Daniel Jacobs fought Dervinchenko. Peter so, Quillen. Don't don't give me the bullshit that Dermot Chaco don't have a highlight reel ten times better than Andre. Uh, yo, you hilarious! You giving him a <laughs> highlight reel of losses. <laughs> I don't think he wins. <laughs> yo, but, but he got a highlight can, reel of win. losses. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead do me. I can't I can't argue with one thing with, with, with what uh, Enrique is saying is that yeah after his performance. With Thank you. Kennedy Golovkin, his, his his stock rose. Everybody knows it. His stock. Rose, he's how now, much? He's though? not. He's not. If if if, if, if you want to ask me, I'm looking at him like the new Gennady Golovkin. You know what I'm saying? The way he was putting them back on him. So, uh, you know, it's no, it's no mystery why he would choose to to fight Devachenko. He's like, okay, he made Gennady Golovkin look bad. Let Yo, me get that. Mario Yo. said the best point, man. Like he, he made the point the best, man. But whatever, you had your hand up. Go ahead. Yo, I, I just want to say this, and, and uh, I'm going to be on casual side on this. I, I don't agree with his premise, but I agree with the fact that out of the fight, out of the fighters being mentioned, the one guy that could become a star based off of the Canelo fight is Derevchenko. Imagine the fight that they produce and what that would do for him afterwards. So even in a loss, we've seen him take clout <laughs> from fights. So I, I don't know. I think his stock could rise. Much, much higher if he were to get this Canelo fight. Not just based off of Canelo, but based off the fight that he would produce. Bruh, who is this clown in the chat? Dominique had her hands up. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I'm like, I literally saw the headline, like, okay, Canelo versus, and I got so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, Canelo. And then I was like, versus, wait, who is that? 
Like, that's just, I'm just telling you my natural reaction to seeing Dermanchenko. And then it took me a minute to sound it out. And then when I sounded out, I still had, like, nothing. So, no, I do know Anthony Durrell by name test. I do know Badu Jack by name test. Um, do I you don't know, know Dermanchenko by name. Yeah, I know Billy Joe. I was excited to see that fight. Like, all of those names, whether you, however you feel about them as fighters, they've done a good job of getting their names out. It's like, when I hear it, I'm like, even if I don't know them, I know of them. Like, what? Okay, that's cool. I want to see that. And I want to look into it. Dermanchenko, nothing. I mean, say, say we can say what we want to say about him, right? His name's hard to pronounce. Maybe he's not as popular in the States. But who gives us the better fight? And let's be honest, you know? That's Ooh. true. And if you said that he fought all the people that you said he fought, that's why I said that helps him in promo. Because now as a casual fan, I'm like, he fought Danny Jacobs, he fought Triple G, he fought. So now I want to look into him. Yeah, yeah. Real he, quick, he, he, we got a super chat from T super chat from TJ who <laughs> says, Kaz, didn't you have GGG winning against Chenko 8-4? Yeah, I did. But he also and in yeah, I stand corrected. But he also gave Triple G <laughs> a better fight than Canelo. Like, he made Triple G look off. And I think the Canelo fight... Bruh, Triple G is off. That's what I'm saying. It ain't Dervinchenko. He old. It's over. I said off. I didn't say old. And I know. Okay. And I'm saying he is off. It's over. He's old. Don't what you don't All right. That. So now, now if Canelo shows how dominant he is over a Dervinchenko fight... Does more for Canelo than showing dominance Listen, over uh, uh, Anthony Durrell. Just a little piece of information for the casual fans like Enrique. Gennady ducked this fight. It's supposed to be Gennady and Canelo. Canelo finally offered Gennady what he wanted, which was the third fight. And my man Points. said no. He said Points. no. I'd rather do what Crawford did. Call my man up and say, I know they ain't call you as mandatory, but we both know you're going to be mandatory. Let's just make this fight and let me get my mandatory. So you out here giving somebody credit for losing to Gennady who don't even want the fight because he know he's going to get knocked Papa, out. How you going how you gonna to be so hard on Triple G when you got Caleb Plant turning down Canelo fights too? Caleb when you Plant, ain't ready, you Caleb ain't Plant, ready, Caleb Plant turning down a fight that A, he ain't calling out, B, he was coming off of a big win and had no time. Gennady, Gennady's been stalking Canelo since he was at 147. Him yeah, and Abel, him and Abel, him and Abel was already. outside the high school watching him. Like, we're going to fight him. Yo, yo, I see you after school, 3 o'clock, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I'll tell you what, man. You, you can't sit there and say Triple G is doing it because, oh, just because he wants to, because he's scared, because he wants a soft touch. Come on, man. You know he got a new coach. You know he's trying to get those skills in there in the ring and, and, and really start to use them. There's a plan for that, brother, man. He can't, brother, if you need a fight... To prepare for me, you Shmeta. are not ready. Perfect. You are not ready. <laughs> if you need a fight for me, if you need That's a fight fact. to prepare for me, that means you're not ready for me. You, I don't understand why fi fans try to change the words. Like, this is just black and white. Do you want to fight? No, I don't want to fight. Okay. <laughs> is that simple? Yo, he, listen, he's 38 years old. I, I, I don't know. I'm not saying you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Not at all. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that... We know what this fight looks like. Manny Pacquiao Marquez fought four times. Israel Vasquez and Rafael Marquez fought four times. Like, we knew what those fights were going to look like. We know what Triple G Canelo is going to look like. The basis off the fact that if Golovkin just read the room, he'd realize that nobody's even given him a chance in these fights. Why, I don't know, because, you know, he's, I mean, it, the fights were close. But based off the Derevichenko fight, it's like he has so much room to gain. I think Golovkin has to cash in his chips immediately because who's to say Canelo at this point? says you know what forget that man i don't care i don't even need to fight him like yo, exactly. contract i got some like, breaking man. news so i'm being told uh that the zone just picked up two million dollars via warner music group uh so yeah. i guess they i oh, guess they part that but early. wait but wait but wait don't big everybody don't, don't say that don't say that it's big Why? time because think about it put it into perspective right okay the zone as a company who was seeking money just mm -hmm. found two billion, Ooh. right? But this same company before this pandemic gave away a billion to Eddie. So don't clap like two billion is a lot for them because remember they was throwing a billion away. 
It was throwaway money for Eddie to do everything he's done, attract everything and get everybody. So two billion ain't a lot. If you out here giving it away when when money was good, two billion yo, that ain't a lot. I mean, it's honestly, a nice start. it ain't a nice start, a Dominique. Nice start. Think about no, it. it. Think billion, about bro? it. Think about it. Think about it. You gave Eddie a billion. We don't know how much he spent, but let's hypothetically say you just redo the budget. But, 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 but out of that two, out of that two, you only recouping one because you just spent a million with Eddie. You can recoup what you save. They got to redo the budget. Exactly. They can't be throwing it at fighters like they were throwing know, it man. at fighters. Exactly. I, I just don't see how well we said, can celebrate Dominique. two million when I'm giving away a bit. I mean, two billion when I'm giving away a billion. Like that because when you stop the listen, I would expect stop, that number to be like the zone receives fifteen billion. It's like okay. Well, okay. How long listen. though? Over the ex over the extent of what period? Well, they gave and, Eddie and, they gave Eddie one billion for eight years. So, but that's what I'm saying though. You got to understand what Dominique is saying. It's like when you reassess what you're doing and you clean up the unnecessary spending, you can stretch that money much better, brother, much easier. We all can stretch money. We all know Yo, how to cut corners. Was we what? all know how to Paying cut corners. All I'm money? saying, all I'm fights? saying, think about that. If your marketing budget is a billion and now you get investing money that's only two billion, I mean, it, it just it, it, it ain't even in but itself out. You don't out. need the same marketing money when you're launching that. That you do to maintain no I, and i and i totally hear you but again i'm only thinking dollars lost dollars gained so you already lost a billion now you got two billion back you know what i'm saying so you know i'm just saying you recouping one you recouping one look back to the subject at hand i think that the Dervinchenko fight is way more impactful than on on uh anthony Durrell fight for canelo you just and want like, that you 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 don't so you don't see anybody Yo, I, I see. Yo, think about that. it too. Like, it was one billion over the course of eight years. They projected that to last eight years. After this pandemic, obviously that money's gone. I'm just it, saying. Just saying. Yeah, but you think about it. In 1946, fifty thousand dollars, which is what a lot of people make a year, was worth a half a million dollars. They took that and they stretch it, and it went for like a half a million dollars. And, so, I, and, he, and I agree. Everybody could stretch money, but we've seen Eddie in interviews recently saying, you know, oh. Fighters got to understand where we at. We can't pay like we used to. Promoters need to come together and, and basically systematically lower the price. Is he right? No, no. He he's right. right. He's Isn't right. that what this he, boxing stuff is? He's right. Is? You know why he's right? Because that was before the leak. That was before Financial Times article. So he already knew the storm that was coming. Yeah, but with everything happening with COVID, like, and it's global, there's nowhere that you could have went during these last couple months to, like, really make your money. So, I mean, nobody was expecting it. All they can do is what every other business is doing from all over the world, from small to big, is figure out how they're going to get back on their feet. And that's going to, every business is doing it. They're cutting Look, costs. The fight game is expensive. Bob Aram told you yesterday when you, when the sheiks or the shakes, hit you up, and they hear the price, they go elsewhere. They change their mind. Reassessing and paying fighters different, you know, it's the fight game. This ain't football. You know, they deserve the top amount of money. So you can't cut on a fighter. And if they do, we're going to lose those big names, and fighters, fights are going to be different. The but money the has to be. economy matters. Paid. Economy matters. Like, you can't price what people won't spend. Right. So if I pay this fighter X amount of dollars and I can't recoup that money back, then I have no longevity. I mean, it's just simple, simple. You got, the customer pays for it. That's but the why, that's but what if the customer you, you don't know? have it? What if the customer don't have it? I mean, when you're coming it out of a, a pandemic, when how many people it. have lost their jobs? Like, what is the unemployment rate? How many people have died? Like, what is you talking about? Like, people don't have it right now. And every business people from don't small to big has to look at what they're charging. I mean, look, the boxing, the game of boxing is adapting, right? You know, we got guys now that are saying they're, they're willing to take that, you know, pay cut and fight in a crowdless setting. Uh, people are selling, you know, tickets now through through online. So it, we're adapting. Things are going to be th th things are going to adapt. The adapt is the supplement. Let me let me jump in. So you know, obviously the chat's like, oh, Ness is a the zone hater, PBC shell. Meanwhile, the zone is paid for us to perform in front of how many Canelo Triple G <laughs> fights and stuff like that. Um, and, and, and 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 again, uh, back to budget. Um, Eddie is verbalizing in interviews that he will not pay for tune-ups. 
Bob Arum has a whole month of tune-ups. I'm just saying, when people in the chat are talking like, oh, you don't know if Eddie lost money. Well, I don't know. I know he's being tight. And when you're being tight and modest, something is up, right? I don't know. Yeah. Bob, it, is it, it, Shakur. Bob is giving Shakur a tune-up. Jamel Heron a tune-up. Michaela Mayer a tune-up. Everybody's going to tune-up. He even offered Lomachenko and Tiafimo one, and they said, nah, we don't want it. We'd rather wait and go straight. So don't tell me someone got money and someone don't got money. The other one is saying, I, I ain't paying for tuners. I'm, d I'm done paying for tuners. Mm -mm -mm, not this time. We got we to gotta talk to fighters, man. We got we to gotta come together as a, we shall overcome. Nah, don't, <laughs> no, pay me what I'm worth. Pay me what you I'm know. worth. What did Terrence Crawford say? Oh, you want me to fight in the crowd? Let's pay me more. Some people are agreeing, yes, pay me less. Some people are not. Some people want their gate revenue. See, Crawford draws in certain markets. So, hell no, don't pay me less. Sit me out till I can get a crowd and all my ticket money. And that's their yeah. prerogative because it's still dangerous. No, nah, but that's my point that you ain't going to get them Crawford fights. You might get a Shakur Stevenson when you reassess and change budgets. And he may gain more fame. But, you know, he's still putting his life on the line and he's devaluing himself. I mean, it depends I'm pretty sure, on what the deal's sure, looking like. Pretty sure promoters are trying to avoid that too. They're trying to avoid trying yeah. to put their big stars on in a crowdless setting. They, 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 they. And I'm not saying that Shakur ain't a big star, and but they're up and rising stars. You know, what definitely. I'm no, no, no. You, you, your point's well taken. You're absolutely right. But I think that this again speaks to Canelo. Like, you know, I don't want to like say we're on record. Like, oh, we want a Rosado fight. Like, we want a Rosado fight because of the circumstances. And this is across the board. So nobody can sit here and blame one fighter or the other. Like these are unprecedented times and during unprecedented times you have to take unprecedented measures you mean so you would tolerate no uh, you mean you tolerate would, well you know what tolerate. oh man you, you're, you're the man thank you yes you won't Yo, if it was different um, times yeah you casual like, oh shit risotto like what the odds of risotto exactly it's, exactly it's true so is there hey. like no way to recoup right, let me ask you something um D Dominique, do you know do you know this female by the name of Helen Joseph? No. Okay. Uh, she a what boxer? A what about you, Mario? Uh, no, I don't think so. Cash Weezy, she come across your timeline? Helen Johnson, nah. No, Joseph, damn. He, he <laughs> did the AJ on her. Look, what look, are you, look, are you talking look, about? Uh... Look, 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 do me, you a cheater. You think I can't read your eyes? I know you too long, bruh. He was over there like this. This is space yep. This is exactly. Bro, I be on the chat. Jeff. Nah, dog. You Googled her. Go ahead. Tell us what you want. Tell nah, us. I thought. I thought he like. He like. So uh, you're talking about? Look, all with the uh, sarcasm. Like he didn't Can go I last. Finish? I, I didn't. Even, I didn't even know she was. I'm saying, is she somebody that's like the head of a of a company? Like she's uh, Michaela Mayer's opponent. And in the chat, they're like, Ness, you capping? Oh. Michaela oh, Mayer. I have no Ma idea who Helen Jones. Michaela Mayer ain't got no uh, tuna. I, I found out who she is. If it's the right one, she's a billionaire businesswoman. <laughs> yo, that's who I yo, yeah, Daniel killing her. Yo, 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 my man. And, and look, that goes to Lawrence. He's like, yo, Ness, you capping. McKellar man ain't on Twitter. How nobody, look, at least, you know, whoever wants to be of hardcore on this panel can raise their hand. But I'm going to say five hardcores, four hardcores, and nobody knew her, but he talking about we capping. Okay. Nah, so look, nah, I'm going to go check her out, though, now. You know what I'm saying? She's been mentioned on the boxing voice. And now her stock goes up. Yeah. yeah. We're going to check her out. We're going to check Tell her out. Tell you what, when people aren't, at, you know, doing other things because the economy's closed, people are about to find out who she is. This is a perfect <laughs> to fight. I mean, th thank God to top rank in their ESPN budget that didn't uh, deflate. So can you not recoup the gate with sponsorship? Is that like we've explored that and it's a no-go? Um, it, no, we got to yeah. see what happens, right? We've only yeah. been able to see UFC shows. This is going to be our first show with Navarrete. Um, I think it's this Saturday. Yeah. Is that Shakur fight? Does he fight this Saturday? Shakur fights Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Nice. Tuesday. Yeah. Listen, and, and here's the other We're thing. We're doing like, live yo, fight chats for all that, FYI. All that. Yeah, I don't care. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Yo, what's what's uh, happening? But listen, th there's things they could do, like... I was watching the UFC, right, uh, the other day, and, uh, you know, there's, like, a lot of things they could do that they're, that boxing could, is missing out on, you know? Like, why not sell the face mask? Like, you put, a, you know what I'm saying, a sponsorship on the face mask. There's so many people wearing them, like, bound to get Word. credit for that. Great like, point. You know what I mean? 
Great point, Mario. And I was going to say, I don't think, I mean, and this is like free advice, but like I never understood why a platform like The Zone would hang their hat strictly on live shows. Because if it ever becomes an issue with the live shows, as a network, you have nothing to fall back on. Like It's sport, so, though. That's yeah, the thing. But, but, but you can still center it around the sport. You can have some scripted content that has to do with boxing, something that attracts the casual fans Man, so that they tune like, into the fight. Let me, like, I never exactly, understood that. But that's, that's the exactly podcast. What I love about the WWE. No, no, no. But that's what I love about the WWE Network. And I know, again, y'all don't like when I go to wrestling, but yo, they do it right. At first, it started out. Of course, you can. But they have. They have so many shows but based dude, on old time of fights. Of course have- you can, Mario, when you can sit in a boardroom and say, all right, Barron Shaw or whatever the dude is is going to beat this one. And, and he. Yeah, it's that's easy scripted. Yeah, but what about HBO? They used to do that with Legendary no, Nights. Not they scripted. Used to do that not with- scripted, bro. Like, True. Not, but it's easier they- to build. Like, think about it, bro. If, if we can make Earl you undisputed and make Fury or Wilder undisputed, make them. Physically push them as chess pieces, making sure they win each fight. We make more money. And that's what that's what WWE can do. They can but, see the analytics of who's more popular and say, uh oh, yo, yo, P- Terrence Crawford is, is is popular now. He's gotta win tomorrow on Saturday Night Raw. And he won. And now yeah. the so popularity like, well, my is about content though. It's like exactly. why if that's- I have a subscription to the zone, I can't go in there and watch Southpaw. Exactly. I can't go dude. in there and watch all the Rockies. Like Bro, some type of diversification. That's more money. Like that's there. more money being allocated to other places. So yeah. you, know, you, know, you know how many rights fees? That, that's right fees. Have to be no, that. listen, it listen. It doesn't have to be Southpaw. It doesn't have to be Rocky. It, it's just give us something well, more they than have, what we're getting. They have. You guys are just not aware. There is a large catalog of fights. I mean, yeah, large. But it's just all fights, Mayweather though. fights. Like, no, it's have, not. It's not just fights. It's modern day. It's modern day legends, okay? It's it's they got all Floyd fights basically, yeah. except for the top rank eras. Uh, yeah, that's not what I'm they talking about. They got all Canelo fights, every, a, ca- no, a huge quick, catalog. We got, a, we got a, a super chat from Teddy B in the Midwest. He says, "Why doesn't DAZN do documentaries on boxing?" And thank you. Thank that's you. what I'm that's talking what, about. I'm like diversifying that's what I'm your talking content. About. Exactly. The cost. But they're is doing deep. all that, guys. They're doing all that. I mean, I, they I, got I, so I much soldier programming. I saw a lot of stuff with AJ and Ruiz, and they did do a great job of retelling that story. But real quick, Trenton Jones with the, uh, another super chat. He says, Cruz deserved yes. reinstated. I Finally, posted that. We all knew uh, Pandemas. Pandemas. Yeah, it was mad dirty. <laughs> Let's go, champ. Hashtag truth shall set you free. Whoop, whoop. Look, look. First of all, they bought the rights to the Ak and Barak show, right, on, on Sirius. Or they're, they're, they're Disinterested. Co- well, that's I'm because I'm talking about some that catches casuals. That's boxing. That's catching ball. casuals. They doing good work. Yeah, Remember, they, they first I mean, they of all, doing, they doing first of all, they got the pull up. They got the pull up. They got the pull up. That is for the casual. If that you don't know boxing, that can't save the network. listen to me. If you don't know I'm boxing and you got a boxer running down on a fan, you're interested. You're tuning yeah, in. No, no, no. I'm talking about scripted diversification and content. Like I can Barack to me are like, comp, like you know, the zone commentators. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know them um, exactly what their show is, but when I see them as a casual fan, I liken them to somebody who, you know, like a Max Kellerman or something like that, that I'm going to see associated with a certain type of network. Okay. I don't, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about scripted shows that like, if I'm trying to like, the zone and chill. Like, what is me and my dude going to watch? That's not an actual boxing fight. Yeah, get a, get that, a, that get a boxing. Well, get you, a got, you, know. got the, you got you got the you got the you got the LeBron James. You got the LeBron James and uh, you know documentaries. There's for all the big fights. There's 40 days on there for multiple fighters. There's yeah. you know different content. Like I said, they create stuff. But not more, but not a lot, more not, of that. not what you're yeah. expecting. Not yeah, what they you're need expecting. way more of that because that type of thing will save your network and it'll attract more casual fans. If you cast that net out, now it's highly promoted by whomever, right? Hey, go to the zone to watch this interesting tale. I mean, they could do the game all over again, the boxing edition. Everybody would watch that. Wow. And they're just tuning in for the soap opera of it. And now you got all these people subscribed. So, the money B, hold up, so hold if something up. happens with the live events, you still have a way to recoup those funds. Teddy B is a Patreon, and he said, Akin Barak show is trash. Stop it. Nobody wants to see the boxing version of Desus and Mero. 
First of all, this is a mirror as a fucking Damn, shout out. They made it. Bruh. They made yeah. it. What you yeah. mean? No, bro, compare I, I me to Jesus and Mero. I do too. Compare I, I me to them. What the fuck? Compare <laughs> me to them. They made it. And they interviewing huge guests. In, yo, y'all, yo uh, Teddy yo, B, real quick crazy, with another bro. super chat. He says, Ness, stop it. They need content. Think ESPN Plus. And he's exactly right. Yo, with Bye. my ESPN Plus, I get so many shows, documentaries, and yeah, there's more sports on UFC, ESPN Plus, but yo, there's so much more content that isn't based around live fighting, like Dominique said. Facts. Yeah, you get you get you get some like reality kind of TVs going like a boxing reality TV or something where I could like like Dominique said where I could kick it with my lady and like we could watch it. It's funny, you know. It's, it's like a- yo, I'm not done, man. First of all, okay, this is Romero. I don't really like the way the Dominican dude dressed. He be wearing some tight shit, but that's some New York shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, that's some Dominican <laughs> shit. That's some and, Dominican. Uh, shit. Nah, nah, because he yeah, ain't the typical. He ain't the typical Dominican from the highs. You know it. Look at him. Stop lying, dog. You he from the Bronx. What are you talking about? Bro, he dressed, he dressed Listen, like most Dominicans I've ever met. Listen, keeping it moving, keeping it moving. Outside of that, them dudes got a hell of a platform, a huge deal. You hell know, yeah, and they funny. Um, um, you know, so comparing them to Ak and Barack, yo, Ak and Barack know how to dress. Um, I like Ak and They fly, Barack, in my opinion. I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Like, what is it that they missing? And they... Yo, they I've came never up, heard they, their show. They came up with the pull-up. That was <laughs> oh, a brand serious? new concept to boxing. I think that was dope. Um, and they're still doing it. You know, they did one with Zad. They did one with Danny. Uh, they, I'm be, I bet you when but they do one with... Out, help them out. I don't even see that show sponsored on my timeline. And I'm on. I'm a co-host of The Boxing Voice. So that's how much I like boxing. And I've never even seen like that come across my timeline promoted. But, but, but that means that you don't pay attention to your social media because A, uh, you would see the producer from Sirius repost it, who you should be following. No, Josh. I said a sponsored ad. What I'm saying is a sponsored ad. Like, oh, that, ad, see what I'm ad. Saying? Yeah, we, where they come across your timeline, it's people you're not following, but somebody paid yeah. for you to see it. Like, I don't even see a sponsored ad of that because they feel like that's a, probably a misappropriation of funds now, I just because don't. I, By name alone, they're not going to attract people. What I'm saying, do Ak and Barack a favor, get some some content that by name alone will attract some folk, and then get more people hip to their show. If it's as good as you say you are, it's going to keep the casual. But it's not going to catch the casual. I think they're doing that. They had an episode where it was like playing basketball with Crawford. I mean... I don't know. But how do I know about it? Yeah, they have by, by signing they into have, the zone. The big but if See, I'm not signed up to the zone, exactly. how do I know about by, it? By, by, her, by seeing it on Instagram. By seeing it on Instagram. You got to want to make her sign up. You know, you got to make, make people want to sign up. It's all on social media. It's on Instagram. It's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. It's all over there. It's no, real quick, real quick, the super my... chat, Alexander Wilson, ESPN, Michael Jordan's The Last Dance, average eight million an episode. That helped yeah. the channel. That the zone needs something similar. Right, right. Another, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, on hold on, hold on, hold on, Enrique, home. real yeah. quick, super chat, Trenton Jones, facts, Teddy B, Akin Barak is cheeks. Be real. I do, I don't agree. Casual, have you watched anything that they do? I, I watch them when when you text them, and I watch them sometimes when I log into the zone. It's been a minute since I okay, logged in. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> the stuff that I've texted you, which is like clips of them doing shows via COVID. Yeah. What what do you see there that you don't like or that you would change? Nah, nah. I like their production COVID style. I was like, damn, they stepped up. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I've seen them in person. I've seen them in person. They have big guests. They got everything that they need. To me, they, they got it they going replace, on, man. Yeah, they got it going on. They replace. And let me Max tell you Kellerman something. For me, they don't I, have I, no. Let me finish. Beats. They, like they, they yo, they got Charlo. Think about this. They got Big Charlo Ching. and Crawford. <laughs> Those are the two least interviewed fighters in boxing. Big Super Charlo. Chat. And Crawford. Stop yo. it, man. Stop yo, it. Real quick, Super Chats from man. Alexander Wilson, ESPN, I'm Michael Jordan, yeah. the last... We said that already. The one oh, white boy, Trump has approved international athletes to travel. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, yeah let's see if that's... Billy Joe falls under that. Um, I was... Oh, my God, man. Oh, yeah. Billy Joe got to He got to yeah, Maybe we has... still got it now. Maybe we still got that Billy Joe fight. 
You know, I want Canelo to put the mittens on that. Yo, boy. all the zone needs is a documentary. That's no, all. They, they need more they, than that. They, they need not, more they than documentaries that. because their their media their their statement their mission statement alone is accurate to what they're doing. Yeah, so they, they need something. Slow. They I'm need gonna let something. it go. They getting slaughtered. But, I just but when the pandemic it, hit, all that got reevaluated because then they was begging for money. So yeah. well, you that have to have something to balance. But there's no reason. Tell me this. There's no reason when the entire nation was ordered to stay at home why an app should be losing money. That's well, a yeah, constant they problem. That is all, a fundamental all, constant prepare, problem because everybody's at pandemic. home. Nobody's at work. Everybody's at home. And you're losing money and you are How much new content does Netflix putting out? Uh, yo, Netflix, it's, it's stuff new no, every now, day. Now, now, I answer that and then say, how were they producing content? What is their mission statement? Not it has n- I'm talking game. about dollars and I'm talking about dollars I and cents. You're talking about so dollars. If, and so you that's... read me, read me the zone mission statement, and I will find you where this type of content fits into it because I bet it has something to do with boxing and sports and staying alive. Sports yeah. detailed and engagement content. I think... Detailed and engagement content. Boom, covered in the mission statement. Now let's go and be effective. Like I don't understand. It's no reason why an app. Think about what I am saying. The entire nation is staying home. And an app is not making money. That means people I said have the their same phones, thing. their laptops, their TVs, and they are not watching you. That's a content problem. I when said other apps no are. Listen to me. Other apps are. I said the but same thing, point. Dominique, from a different no, standpoint. No, no, but y'all comparing, y'all comparing oranges and apples. The zone is a live event based place, right? Yes, I said they need more documentaries like ESPN. ESPN is known for having documentaries. The the thirty for third, not the, the the freaking Michael Jordan documentary is not the first documentary they have done. So the zone just needs more documentaries. Had they prepared, had we known that oh we're gonna oh, shut down, obviously they would have put out. But, this point, but that I understand what you're saying, but the watch. point that I'm making is you don't have to predict a pandemic to d- diversify content. You get affected oh. by the pandemic because you didn't diversify oh, content. Oh, you diversify the mission yeah. statement at that Yo. point. No, it's already covered in the mission statement. Engaging. Like, find things that engaging are engaging. Content, and, and that's going to cast the net. For real quick, so that's going to cast the net to the casual fans. And it does nothing but help fighters like Canelo. It does nothing but help Ak and Barack because you have people who would watch I've never seen Ock and Barack. I have a subscription to the zone and never seen it. It's I, never I, come across my timeline. I'm a co host on the boxing book. I reason, never see it. Come the only thing that I seen the zone come across my timeline was when Canelo why. was fighting. I saw it when Canelo was fighting. And I think one time, it, I don't know if that, but probably maybe that was HBO when Danny Jacobs was fighting. But there was a big Danny Jacobs promotion at one point that I saw come across my timeline. And that was it. Probably they need more of that. They have nothing else to talk produce, about. Networks produce. Uh, content based on the future. All right, this is coming out. After this, we're gonna show. We're gonna come out with Games of Thrones. After Games of Thrones, we're gonna do, you know, Insecure. So that's their flow. That's their mission state. They produce films, networks, ESPN Plus added. They always had documentaries. The Zone doesn't, you know. So had they have that flow of yo, we're talking about Ali. We're gonna do the Floyd. Had they had that department. You would have tuned in already, well, the but that ain't, that ain't what they do. They need to adapt at this point. I, I, I mean, there's not another streaming service like this that's just focused basically solely on this. I think you guys have been this. too hard, bro. They have adapted. Just like everyone, we were just talking about how DAZN stepped it up during COVID. Like, Yeah, it's not enough, though. Like, what I'm saying wow. is if, if they take what they have that's engaging the subscribers that they already have and the boxing fans, what I'm saying is casting a wider net because boxing so is more intriguing, felt, and somebody is going somewhere else to watch that boxing. You content. felt you so basically, Dominique. You felt like they needed it before COVID. They you, needed it before. Yeah, they needed, you, you wanted that digital for kids. You wanted them to, to to attract you in another way where maybe you didn't want to watch. Uh, uh, I feel uh, like uh, I don't get enough for my subscription. What Honestly, What else do you watch like on the zone? Get what else? But it, is, nah, is, is I'm it a on that. Based subscription. Though? I'm with on that. I, I definitely don't feel like I get it the value. At the moment, Man, you know, that, and, and, for, and for a few months. It's just like they're not putting on big fights. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, but I get the but same I'm with experience Dominique. with ESPN. I'm but with Dominique. Can, I, can, I, get my, can I get my okay. sentence in? Thanks. I'm, I'm with Dominique in the sense that I said that before. They have the the like they, they they have an opportunity to capitalize right here because they're an app. They could put on a great fight 
it's going to make us subscribe. And then they have reoccurring money. So I think it's about fights. And again, we're looking at it as boxing fans. The, the app covers a whole bunch of other sports. Exactly. So yeah, when, you, yeah. when, you tell me, when you tell me I'm not getting my worth, um, are you a sports fan of other sports? Because I, if I'm not mistaken, this is a sports-based subscription. Only. And if you, you want to watch reality shows, you want to watch something else, you go, you somewhere, got, else. You, you go somewhere else. The reason, it, the reason this is took a hit is because of COVID. And I understand Thanks. Enrique's point, too, and I understand Dominique's point. Enrique is saying that if it would have been in flow already, you know, it would have made up for some of the losses that are occurring right now. Dominique yeah. saying that they needed it beforehand because that's something that would have attracted her. So, you know, it's it just a matter of what you're looking for in the app that you're purchasing, man. This is a sports app. So even though I want more and I like a boxing reality show or something like that where I can go to the zone and get it. But that's a matter of what's going in the mission statement, what's going to be in the budgets and what else are we doing besides uh, uh, boxing matches for our boxing viewers because there's soccer, bro. There's a whole bunch of other stuff on there. Real All quick, right. I'm we a got fan a super Bellator. chat from TJ who says content over production. I pay 15 a month for TBV and super chat because of the content. The zone has Woo, actual great. fights, and I <laughs> select months to have the zone. So I I, I hear oh, that's that's a good point. Yo, that's a really that's good all point. I'm Yo, I, I got them. I got them. Listen, DAZN, if you're listening, you have Ness's number. You hit up Ness, he'll hit me up. And I got a, a script phone. for y'all that y'all could buy from me. And there you go. You got content. It's a boxing movie. Yo, Don't you gotta worry do it like it. Rocky, bro. One of either you or one of your mans in them gotta be the actor. <laughs> yeah, like so much, y'all look so i logged into the zone right now for the first time and my shit is <laughs> all boxing me too me too <laughs> all boxing like i see akin barack on the top i don't know if this is tailored towards me but akin barack shows up on the top yeah and then i scroll down and it's like kimbo slice versus shamrock who i don't watch and it said don't miss it and then it goes right back into boxing and they got Barack. Tyson Fury on there, Dillian White. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, not, nobody, nobody has texted me this entire pandemic and said you got to look at the zone. You got to. Oh, so you're saying that the zone period isn't being pushed the way it should be? But I'm zone. saying the. She's I'm just saying, saying the content saying, isn't be is not fan driven. That's all she's saying. Right. Fan driven, look. Yeah, meaning look. meaning there's nothing on there like like it, it, they didn't drop an Avengers movie where you gotta see it, you gotta tell your friend like yo you seen the Avenger movie on the zone you know what I'm saying that ain't happening you ain't seen yeah, the Canelo they're fight movie. they're not a movie my man it's a metaphor you weirdo yeah he yeah <laughs> nah but you got that metaphor don't yeah work. and it would have saved him it would have saved him Bruh, the because movie's the fight champ the yo, movie's you the fight something, you gotta be more specific yeah. Like, they yeah. only need Bruh, the movie is the sport. fight the movie is the fight if Canelo was fighting Triple G you don't think they'll get subscriptions that's yeah, what, but that's specifically would, but. why I'm saying that that, that this guy um Dervinchenko is the wrong fit. He not bringing in any subscriptions. White boy, we read your chat already. Your super chat already. Yo, listen, I think that, you know, what Dominique said it earlier makes perfect sense. Like, you had to have planned before you needed a plan because when you think about you're going in the boxing business, you got to understand, okay, you can get AJ, you can get Canelo, but fighters only fight twice a year, sometimes once. You know what right. I'm saying? So when you know that you're in a situation where the biggest, most attractable entities that you have to give are – only going to be appearing, you know, once, twice a year, maybe four, five, six times total. You have to have planned for something else Ooh, to drive that's a content. Good point. And even when it was coming out and Eddie Hearn was doing all those interviews, remember he was talking about, oh, this is going to be the platform where fighters are going to fight like three, four times a year. They're going to stay super active. I mean, and that was a definite step one for fight fans. I'm saying now that it's been out for multiple years, like why? Isn't there a separate department powwowing about how to get more people in? Because it only helps boxing. I think that the current state of boxing fans is low because there isn't any cross promotion. There isn't a lot of cross promotion when it comes to boxing. And there are a lot more potential boxing fans out there who aren't tapped in that would be tapped in if there was some more cross cross marketing that's what I i'm feel, saying i feel what you're saying because you know look i love the zone i do i really like it but at the same time i'm a boxing i mean i'm a baseball fan and they cover baseball really well they show me every highlight 
every they go live to to really big moments in games for baseball. And I started to get into soccer way more over the last five years, and they cover soccer too. So it's catered to a fan like me. At the same time, you know, the content could step up big time. Look, HBO, they hung up their boxing department because they did better with movies. Showtime still kept theirs, and Stephen F. Spinoza, and they have movies. Stephen F. Spinoza said the way to promote boxing is to go where people don't watch it. That's where we promote it. The zone, the zone is strictly sports. So they don't have the movie to cross com- promote. You know what I'm saying? They don't shoot movies. That's not in their and that's mission a pr- statement. And that's a, and that's a problem. So, no, that's th- going to be a financial problem. Their, their issue is they need to shoot more documentaries. That's what no. it is. So they could be like ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus don't have no movies. They have documentaries. But on, ESPN they has all oh, everything, no. ESPN like NBA, has a faithful and, fan base. That's yeah, but they also very long from things that history, they've done they a million times. Here's like how saying old Disney. Is ESPN and how old is, it's like, like that, you saying this, ESPN don't have movies. It's like me saying Disney don't have sports. Like they, they're so, so they're, Disney they're has history. sports in another area. They, they're, they're like his, the umbrella. Their history. They correct, but I'm saying Disney Plus. Disney. I'm saying Disney Plus. I'm saying yeah. Disney Plus. So, yeah. like, but their fan base is so vast, and it goes down so many generations that they don't have the same problem that a new app like the Zone has. Uh, like the Zone is coming out like a Nick. One hundred. Yo, the zone that's is a baby. First of all, the Zone is a baby. It sure. just started. It's probably not even five years old. You know what I'm saying? So it's still working things out. Of course, it's gonna go. They the 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 forecast, the projection is always like we're gonna lose a lot. That's why they're throwing billions at it. I'm sure HBO had billions thrown at it in the beginning stages of his yeah. movie and sports. man, nobody accounted for COVID. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. For COVID, that's and I'm... that's that's the problem. That COVID was a surprise. You don't prepare for that shit. But you, know? you you but if you have the right foundation, you can adjust quickly, right? So I. My, me and my boyfriend owned a gym. So what did we do? We switched to virtual, right? We had to do it in a week, mm. right? So if you have the fan base and you have the attraction, the marketing already set up, the net already cast out, all you're doing is feeding people the information they need. See, before COVID, the marketing strategy was, let's give people what they want. Let's meet a need of theirs, right? That's what marketing was. So you are a boxing fan. You want boxing. We're going to give you boxing. COVID changed marketing because it went from how can I help you? Everybody was in need, right? So when it was like, oh, let me give you something. Now it went to how can I help you survive? And the zone didn't have anything for people to help survive. They could, they didn't have it in their foundation. And you said it best. HBO dropped boxing because they was making more money with movies. Showtime, they're n- they're not going to stop. Their content is what floats them. They're doing boxing because that's something that they're committed to, and we're glad that they're committed to it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yo, so you're saying, I agree so with. Showtime ahead, boxing is definitely me, yeah, no, so basically, you know, this, this, this company, uh, according to what I'm understanding from Dominique, is that it need it needed something else to fall on in case something like this would have happened. And it's like if they would have had other things, other entertainments in there besides the live boxing matches. Yeah, but it, what, what is anything? that? What Give if me, fighters go on strike? What's the solution? I don't yeah. know. What's the loose? What's the solution? Because again, they do have more than just boxing. The problem is all sports went down. Yeah, right. no. Th- then that's the mm-hmm. point, Ness. All the sports went down. Yeah. So what? What other entertainment could it? Could it? Could it? Could the, the zone they, given us? They didn't you need gotta re-watch that. Got to the fight. They didn't you need that the in the past, though. They didn't need that in the ha- in the past because they was a so, sports streaming app, live so no, streaming app. So moving forward, it's like. I don't. I, I kind of get Dom, Dominique's point. You know, it's good to have some type of entertainment because every time we get a, an app or something like that, you know, and, right now you can click I'm going, anything on that app shoot. right now. Oh yeah, no, nah, and I have it tuned for boxing, so my stuff pops up. I can Barack pop up, all that stuff pops up because that's the way I had it, which so reminds me. Entertainment, unless you watched it already. How many things you watch on Netflix over and over? Mm. I never sat down and watched a documentary my entire life. But documentaries, that documentaries. That was an hour episode. I watched Tiger King because of the pandemic. But check it, check it. Documentaries. I would never sat on a regular day. But documentaries, like I, I could go to YouTube and, and Google a documentary, and I'll probably get it there. Now, if mm-hmm. you have like a, a a series that's only to Thank that you. app, you're Thank gonna you. you're gonna yeah. make me come back to that. You're gonna make me come back and watch boxing, uh, uh boxing champ. 
Yeah, hey, whatever. Hey, 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 so it's the like scripted like, or uh, what? Let, let somebody gonna text off. your phone. Somebody gonna text your phone and say, "Girl, you know you need to download the zone." It ain't number have, ten dollars. Have we known about COVID coming up? I'm sure there would have been episodic shot for the zone. But my, if I'm, but girl, here, but this is why I disagree with idea, that. Bro, because you do a SWOT analysis when you start anything. Anybody does strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. A, the biggest threat, right? The biggest threat. There are two huge threats, right, to doing live sports, not being able to afford it. Right. And not having access to talent, because if you don't have access to talent or you can't afford the talent, you have no platform. So if I'm sitting in a room and we're talking billions and billions of dollars, somebody said, well, what if we don't have access to talent? I don't care. Everybody gets sick. Boxing becomes illegal in the United States. Whatever, whatever, whatever. How do our investors make their money back? You telling me nobody brought that up? Yo, super chat from Trenton Jones. He says, Mario, it's not catered to Americans. Even they got freaking darts, soccer, and baseball. Baseball doesn't have a young fan base. Face it, the zone sucks. And, uh, yo, listen. He put hashtag I'm an Ameri- facts. I'm an, a- I'm an American. But I'm a Mexican American, so I'm not gonna lie. Baseball, soccer, and boxing definitely cater to me. So yeah, I don't disagree with that. Let's get to the callers because we've gone down the business route. Um, and and you know, again, for those that it's like, oh well, you guys love PBC. I mean, I'm gifting Canelo Rosado to help the, the zone economics. You know, like Rosado would be cheaper, and I think he would bring in more subscriptions uh versus canelo than dervinchenko will um so yeah that's my final thoughts anyone else so we could get to these callers yeah my final thoughts uh are i agree with doomy and dominique the zone should just buy my script yo my, <laughs> my my final thought is that uh any fight right now is gonna bring eyes to the network the zone that is because you know like somebody mentioned, yo, how can I help you? I need my dose of sports and boxing. If Agreed. you're a boxing fan, you're going to tune in regardless. Hardcore or not. Do you buy a new subscription because of Rosado? I doubt it. Man. I mean, when someone says Canelo's fighting a Puerto Rican to, to, to the average Mexican... They're going to tune in. And remember, there's 36.6 Mexican-Americans in America. So I think you cater to the Mexican demographic so that you can ca- get those subscriptions. But go ahead, cater to the Ukrainian demographic with Dervianchenko. Uh, nah, <laughs> let's nah, talk nah. about the numbers. I'm Business, saying yeah, Boston if, demographic. Nah, it, I'm not. And, the, and what do you think the Mexican demographic is? They make up the, the boxing. They make up boxing. They have the, the subscription. I already think they have the subscription. Oh, Bro, so you think that? So you don't think people subscribe and unsubscribe to a, a month by month subscription base? Come on, bro. Like smarten up. Chill, bro, champ. yeah, smarten up. That person gonna tune in regardless who Canelo fights. What you mean? If he, he unsubscribed, said, casual. If, yo, he, subscribed he unsubscribed. And he's a Canelo boxing fan. He You're un- telling me he's not unsubscribed? Watch he Canelo unsubscribed. Fight. Like everyone else in the chat that's un- upset with the zone, he unsubscribed. How do you get him back? <laughs> uh, put a Canelo against anybody. They Doubt, it. Doubt it. Doubt Ask it. Doubt it. Doubt it. During thumbs the pan- during down, the pandemic, during the pandemic, the casual fan mm-hmm. is not buying Canelo versus Dervianchenko. They're not. Oh, mm-hmm. now we're going back to buying. So you want to go back into buying? We could go down a whole rabbit what hole. What do you mean? That's what it costs. Now. It costs to get on the app, bro. You okay. how many people unsubscribe as soon as the pandemic hit? People start cutting the cords, going through their bills, and 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 canceling. They got to get those people back. Like they gotta get them back, and and if those people are still combing through their bills, they might not prioritize a Canelo DAZN fight. So if you want to, and that's what I'm trying people, to tell you, bro. That's what I'm trying like, to tell. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. Now. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You're not listening. You just want to debate today, and that's cool. It makes for a great show. Nah, just hear me I'm out. Listening. Hear me out. Listening. A Let Mexican, a Mexican Canelo fan, right? Who is being I don't know, careful with his money. Is he going to tune into Dervianchenko or he's going to tune in to a built-in historical rivalry between Mexico and Puerto Rico? Just stop, bro. You a casual. That's your role. Just play that. Yo, you the man. I'm done with that. 
I know that I will watch Dervinchenko and know that because it's a you real are a fight hardcore because you a are a Rizzato. hardcore. And I think the Mexican stop. And I think stop. See, I let you breathe. Let me breathe. So now the Mexican that goes to watch a Canelo Alvarez fight versus Rosado is going to do the same thing against Dervinchenko because he's a Canelo fan. That's it. All he right. ain't no Dervinchenko you won. fan. You won. You won. Fan. You won. He's not wrong. He's not so wrong. No, so real quick, so real quick, my last two cents on this, and I think I, I caught both both sides. Uh, you know, uh, he's, he's a, you know, Cash is saying that even though, you know, he fights either or, he, people are still going to show up. But what Ness is trying to tell you is that for the casual, Rosado is going to, rake up a lot more because Devrachenko's name is not known as much in the States especially. So that's the point. My point now on Canelo versus Sergey, I want it to happen, but hey, you got other opponents that, that, that I would like to see. The big thing about this is that Canelo actually stepped up being the star that he is and says, I don't mind fighting the crowdless crowd. So kudos to Canelo. You know, it shows you he's a, he's a people's champ, regardless of what y'all saying out there with all of us with our Canelo headbands. A chant does what a chant does. And, uh, yeah, we doing OT or what? Cheap! Nah, no OT. Today's Thursday. We got 7 p.m. Uh, let's go out to the sponsors then. And Wait, can I get my final oh, thought? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's real quick. I'm just in my feelings. I don't have a Canelo headband. Man. Yo, but your hat's dope. Ah, <laughs> uh, y'all saw what I did? Yo, did, we, did we read the last, uh, the last Super Chats? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. TJ said, I'm not getting the zone for Rosado, but TJ, you're a hardcore, man. Just like casual. Casual is more just, than a casual. Yeah. Like, you, when, Bro, you, my, my when you know how to pronounce Dervianchenko's oh. name, you are a hardcore, man. Listen, Ohio runs line, boxing. Bro. Ohio Runs Boxing said, I canceled DAZN. Trent Jones, y'all just read that Another one, said, I'm hardcore. not getting DAZN for Rosado. I promise you that. Another and hardcore. that was it. Dominique, uh, final thoughts, you said? Oh, that was it. I'm oh, that was it? Okay. I'm about my hairband. Viva Got Mexico, you. Team Canelo. Viva I'm Mexico. always down for a Canelo yeah. fight. That's yeah, yeah, cause All right, he is let's hit the, the face sponsors, of boxing. We got called. Why are you always down for a Canelo fight? I'm interested. Oh, my gosh. Don't we have so much fun? For real, true. true. It's a party. Not, true. I'm saying I'm, this is what I'm so what you about saying? Golden you Boy. They you know saying? how to show you a good time. What you saying? You don't have fun at a Charlo fight? Um, not like I have fun at a Canelo fight. So what you now, saying? if PBC wants to start making TVB some great offers, like <laughs> he's trying know. to set you up because so what you the saying? people you're, in the chat always big up Ch Charlo, and he always says that he's no. not on the same level commercially. No. Um, so what you saying? Uh, what about an Andre fight? Like we be part wow. of Andre Why fights. Are you trying to Bruh. Yo, <laughs> Providence be popping. Providence be jumping when Andre throw a party. He's, like he's in his prosecution mode, so he's trying to use you as a witness to make his <laughs> points. <laughs> Another chat by TJ. He is a cheating champ like Ped Menes. Oh, <laughs> yo, oh, yo, man. if if the glove don't fit. Whatever the it, rest of that shit It, it don't fit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Simple as that, man. Don't that make me switch is. headbands, man. I put my, my Kovalev Canelo on, man. The greatest win he's got. Dude started at 147. What a champ. What a champ. I 147. Yo, crazy, right? How he went from 147 and he mixed those numbers up to weigh in at 174 to get that last bell. Ow! Oh, Dominique, they, uh, they invited you to the UK to experience an AJ fight because they saying that's a party. Yeah, I mean, remember an invite. Callers, remember an I'm invite. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm there. An invite <laughs> means that you paying flight, hotel, no, <laughs> accommodations. <laughs> you know, she got to get picked up at the airport with her and her crew plus her man, <laughs> who I keep telling you, biceps bigger than Enrique head. So be careful. Be warned. Let's go out to uh, the callers. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at ElCaminoElectricalServices.com. Going out to Izzy in Oklahoma, what it do? Good morning, good morning. Buenos dias. Uh, 
not much to add. I pretty much riding with the, the, the lady on this one. Um, I'm a DAZN subscriber, but yeah, it's like a stone bone. And somebody else said in chat, I haven't even opened it in months. I watched Auchenbrock, I think one time this week. Um, and that was, that was after two, three months of nothing. Hey, did you get my terms, Ness? I didn't hear any response. That's my call. Uh, yeah, same here, man. I just opened my DAZN um, today. My subscription Since ended, bro, and I didn't like – like they did something where like, ah, oh, man, you know I was grandfathered in on that $10, man. I don't know what they're going to do now. <laughs> Yo, they're they going to stick you. me for that 20 And my ESPN Yo, TJ Plus. said, but it does fit. They both cheated. No, no one to, did a hair follicle test, man. Don't go down that rabbit hole, man. Don't go down that rabbit hole. Now, nah, actually, I think he, he he got a suspension, though, right? Did he even get a, like a six month suspension? I don't even know to be honest. What y'all talking about who? Canelo, the the Clembuterol. Oh, y'all read Trenton Jones's uh, super chat? Yeah, yeah, we just did. Okay. I didn't know. No, I didn't know if that was the one. Yeah, uh, man, I'm 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 not sure if Jay from Orlando sent in something new. So we're gonna shorten you up, Jay. Uh oh, this guy deserves all the praise. Jay from Orlando. I told y'all. Y'all ain't want to listen to me. Oh, you. Hey, and I called it right with two knockdowns. Oh, you scored two knockdowns. Oh, even Enrique featured on that. Jay, I had to cut it short, man. I know you, your beat be flagging, but what's good? Nothing much, man. Hey, yeah, I sent in a new one. I sent in a new one. Um, I'll, I'll reply back to it so so you ain't got to go uh, scavenging, scavenging uh, for it in the inbox. But uh, real quick, when it comes to these opponents, man, I like the, uh, the Gabe Rosario. I like that fight, and uh, I really, y'all, one thing that y'all didn't really bring up when it came to Darrell, man, one thing that y'all missed out on, I'm surprised no one said this, is Darrell does commentating, and Darrell's social media game is crazy. I don't follow him on social media, but he's got a bunch of followers on all platforms, so it crosses over. So his fan base, he got 209,000 on IG. That alone right there compared to the rest, and, you know, think about it like with Sergey, like, Darrell speaks good, like, Darrell good English, like, for a fighter. Like, he's, he's not, like, a, a typical fighter where he gives, like, short answers. So he's going to be able to promote the fight. So if you're Yo, one Jay. of the ones to go out, you're not going to... Chill. Why are you trying to play Dervinchenko out, man? He got 30,000. 30,000 compared to 200,000? <laughs> oh, I thought you <laughs> said 20,000. Nah, I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. Nah, I, said, I just uh, wanted to make sure we told the world <laughs> what Dervinchenko don't have. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And going on with that the zone point, man. Um, I wasn't a long time subscriber to the zone. Uh, I would pick and choose which fights I would do. Like I would do like an AJ fight and stuff like that. But one thing I will say is I do like the content that the Barack did with the pull up. The only thing is, um, like your coach was saying, is, is that they didn't promote that. I didn't even know they had. They were doing those a year out until I saw the Danny one. And when I saw the Danny one. It was a like it caught heat like three months later after it had already been released. So they need to come with sponsorships and with they don't have to produce documentaries themselves. They can buy a license. That's the cheapest thing to do. And also too, like I just saw the other day that they have like a a boxer's wife thing, um, where uh, what's his name? With Zab has like his uh, his wife on there and stuff like that. Like reality shows like that. Like imagine if they did an AJ reality show. That alone would keep you interested. Uh, AJ reality showing a couple of documentaries, like that's what they need to do. That's the route that I that I think they need to go. Yo, that's what I got, fellas. Thank you. So Ness is always right, man. I'm glad I'm a narcissist. So um, Daniel Jacobs is not more popular than Badu Jack. I mean, obviously he's been pushed harder, but his social media doesn't translate to it. Just like I said, his pay per views doesn't translate to it. Secondly, uh, you know, like I said, Dervianchenko is thirty thousand. Rosado's two hundred. And thousand two. okay yeah. jacobs jacobs is only 260 i think or 30 let me put Pro daniel daniel Pro is 220 daniel's 221 daniel's 221 badu is 261 just you know just okay. and, and real you know. quick like remember when i was saying i knew anthony Durrell from like the pbc yeah. shows i think that's what it is i think it was some commentating and like, anthony Durrell got 203 so i mean perspective they're around the, 
that, 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 that Devichenko is the lowest one. <laughs> nah, no, I can see that a hundred percent. I'm like I said, and I'm gonna stand by my point is that he's a much more. No, you want to reiterate fighter. your point more, because you feel like you're losing. Fighter. You're trying to reiterate because you feel like you're losing. You could rewind the tape. I don't have to reiterate. So why you doing it then? I'm so, so let me the let me go to the callers then. Telling you let that me go to the callers then. Impactful. Durvinchenko exactly. fight for Canelo is much more impactful win. Doggy, oh, we ain't trying to build defense. resume today. We trying to save the zone so the fighters got a place I to ain't fight. Saving the zone with that. You not. You. I get you. I get you. And that's why you are called the casual fan. I'm the main host because I think outside the box. I'm not just thinking as a fan, and that's what I'm saying. We are in a global pandemic. I am a boxing fan only. I don't watch football. Y'all gonna go watch Super Bowl. Y'all gonna go watch the playoffs and basketball when it comes back. Nesta Gibbs needs Fox to succeed, ESPN to succeed, and the Zone to succeed. They do not succeed with a Ukrainian with 30,000 fucking followers that can't even say the ABCs. You sound like, right? That's a great theory that you need that and this and that and how it's going to succeed sounds right. But I'm saying it will succeed regardless Canelo's name alone could hold the whole fucking network down. That's why they gave him all those millions of dollars for 11 fights sure. to hold the network down. That's why AJ got all sure. those millions of dollars to hold that network down. Sure. AJ and Canelo fight this year saves the show. Sure. That's it. Sure, that's why that's why when him and Daniel Jacobs fought, they they, they only boasted that 600,000 people watched it in America. Chill champ, like you said, they're a baby, and babies need to grow. And Canelo could only help them grow, but so fast. Chill, just chill, champ. Oh, oh yeah, and Rosado gonna help him. I mean, I mean, we just proved Ooh, it. We just proved it. Listen to me. Ooh. Listen to me. That's your right to the press. your entire theory Ooh. didn't prove correct. You Your's said, neither. you Your's said, neither. yo, no, yes, I did. Yes, ah, I did. Rosado? I just the numbers, the numbers indicated, and that's what I'm going back to. You said Dervian. Let me finish, Cash. You said yeah. Dervianchenko. Earned his position because he's been in big fights where he lost. He's got cachet. So he fought, allegedly, you propped up Daniel Jacobs because he's, oh, he big. He fought Daniel. Then he's big. He fought Gennady. So where's his numbers? What happened? When we went to the numbers, why he the last? He ain't even, Rosado got nine losses and fucking five times the amount of subscribers. The, Just chill. Chill. You losing. You losing. He's nobody. He's nobody. He is nobody. Look, look, Anthony, nobody. Dur Anthony Durrell and, and, and uh, uh, what's my other man's name? Anyway, they've been around longer than Devrachenko. You know, Devrachenko just stepped Fat. in. He got 15 fights. So, so that's why his IG doesn't translate. But um, I mean, if, if, if oh yeah, only, oh yeah. So hold on. on, so hold on. How many well, Tiafimo got? Because he got 15 fights. Huh, that's yeah, a hold, that's, hold not, on, hold that's on, not that's not too bright. That's not too bright. Tiafimo got 155. What about Shakur? What about Shakur? What about Shakur? What about Shakur? 276,000. This is what I'm saying. How many more people with 15 fights you want me to look up? How many more people with 15 fights you want me to look up? Lomachenko? Lomachenko? No. It don't matter what y'all say. Dervianchenko is the least known boxer in the whole fucking world. Look. And go going against if we're holding Devachenko to the American market, right? I know IG is worldwide, but again, you know he hasn't gotten that fight up until Triple G, where he actually got noticed, noticed, right? So we know that he's a great fighter at this point. You know how many people turned into that Triple G fight, and how does it translate to IG followers? I don't know, but I know that if he's given the chance, no to one fight Canelo, seen it. Those IG numbers will no jump one seen the it. They fight on an app. Who seen it? The people who seen who it? And, and, and oh, the, oh, the people that bought the, the app, world, right? The people that bought the app. That's why he fought Jacobs, he fought Gennady, and he got so popular that he got 30,000 subs. Like, he got so popular for them in fights because he fought on an app. That's what Floyd talking about. That's what Floyd talking about. And again, you got guys that are pushing people's IGs. Look, I understand people's what IG? you're coming. Bro, but I take it with a grain of salt. You can't take it with a grain of salt. Ryan Garcia renegotiated a contract live on Instagram. He showed you to go from 50 to 250. That's five times what he gets yeah, paid. Let me finish my sentence. Planet, five though. times what he gets paid because of his yeah. IG. So don't discredit IG. Did don't discredit it. He's coming from the other side of the planet. He's not in, he so was is never in Ryan Garcia's position. So is Gennady. You want his numbers? 
You want Vasil? Yeah. Vasil You're got talking about Gennady, who Vasil got one point eight with stars, bro. Vasil got one point eight. So good. Vasil got one point eight. They come from the same place. You want Gennady's numbers now? You're not. You're not. You're not getting. It. Uh, what? They come from another side of the world. <laughs> they come chat. from another side of the world. Super, 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 super chat from Ivan G. Nest stop. Europe knows Dervinchenko, but no Rosado. Europe almost out of the com conversation. COVID. COVID. COVID, my bad. COVID. Oh yeah, Europe almost out of COVID. USA is worse situation now with COVID and protests. More subs in Europe. So what? They didn't. They, the people in Ukraine don't have Instagram. In Europe, I, they don't I, got I Instagram. Think Dervinchenko's guy, whoever's pushing his Instagram, isn't so good. And if he's doing Yo, that on his own, he's, he's oh, now, now it's now it's Dervinchenko's guy. <laughs> first, uh, what, first what it was I'm that he was from you Europe. Can't everything to IG. Come on, and we've man. Been down this hole already, bro. No, you you guys don't want to respect IG. I keep proving that IG. But you know, it's not that we don't want to respect it. It's that you give it. More the credit. All be all. Exactly. And you're talking about the 18 to 35 market, which is Someone a huge just market. But you got to understand that boxing, is an old, boxing is an older sport. There are Yo, a lot guys of guys that buy pay per views that are in their 50s, 60s, and 70s because boxing is still. Uh, Yo. Uh, per, show, me, show me the ways for people to renegotiate their contract. Survey says. Selling yeah, they tickets. They're going to go to their social media. Survey platform. says. Surling, selling tickets. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Show following on social. What, what's, what's, what else under serving t selling tickets? What else? How else do you show your worth to a promoter? How else do you get your contract, your signing bonus? Come on, guys. You show your popularity. Social media. Social media. What else? What else can you get? What else? I mean, gold that's medal. It. That's gold medal. Olympian. Come oh, yeah, on, yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 amateur resume, background. Athletes. Deep amateur background. Come on, guys. How about like, this? Good fights. And you know what's a good, good fight? Fights. Derbachenko and <laughs> oh, Canelo. Yeah, listen, we keep talking about these names. Oh, who would do bigger names? But l let's talk about two things. First of all, Derbachenko deserves this fight, I think, over the guys that we've mentioned. So that's one thing that you can't take away from him. The other thing is that Anthony you have to Durrell's look the at, better fight. Why does you he have deserve to look it? At the, I think he <laughs> deserves Sergey it. Sergey Derbachenko, because he's the greatest loser. The greatest sure. loser. Sure, sure. But when compared to Rosado, when compared to Durrell, I think that he you has got a more, future. Who? Who? Rosado? More steam. Rosado more that actually got a knockdown in his last fight, unlike the guy Dervianchenko we talking about? I mean, he man far Triple G I, 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 and far Jacobs. Someone tell and, me. Someone tell me. Did, did Selecki fight. get dropped by Daniel Jacobs? Because I, I, I could swore Rosado dropped him. Did Daniel Jacobs also drop him? Because Daniel Jacobs fought Dervianchenko. Oh. I mean, you're really arguing right now that Rosado deserves to fight more than Derevchenko. Uh deserves. I'm doing a business side. Deserves? Yeah, I hear you, but that's what I'm deserves? saying is you got to also going, take into I'm not account going the other aspect of it because look, ultimately, you know what the business model is for DAZN or Showtime or ESPN is to produce great fights. Okay, and the more great fights that you have, you know, there are people that didn't watch Ruiz Joshua one that wouldn't have missed number two for the world. Okay, they had too many people telling them, yo, did you see that fight? Man, did you see that heavyweight fight? Yo, you had to have missed that. Oh, you missed it? Oh, bro, you got it. So now that's the point is that when you produce great fights, you get great rewards. But for you to give somebody just because they got a popular name and it's a shit fight, guess what? We've been down that road. We've been down that road way too many times. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, people like my father who, you know, we would get upset when Mike Tyson was just knocking people out and they were paying for these pay-per-views. And don't get me wrong, he was a big Mike fan, but it, it, it gets gets stale. So, so let me get fight? this straight. We like the unknown so, with their Vachanko. So, so exactly. let me get this straight. Let me exactly. get this straight. Let me get this straight. Everyone in boxing is getting a tune-up, right? Bob offered Vasil Lomachenko, arguably pound for pound, a one or two, a tune-up. Tiafimo uh -huh. a tune-up. Shakur has one on paper. We got your point. You're right. Everyone is getting a tune-up. So Canelo, Canelo is not allowed. It's not that Nobody's he's not allowed. He's not allowed. No, you, you, he you just, just said. You just fight. said. You exactly. Just, what? He's what? not the guy that takes. This is the. He's, this he's is the, the greatest two. This is he the toughest tune-up tune in the world. Like, what are you talking tune about? Tune-up for is, what? But that's what for I'm real. saying. Tune but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Oh, that was good, Dominic. If this is the toughest tune-up in the world, right, and you're saying he does deserve a tune-up so he doesn't get to make the choice? I'm not saying he doesn't get to make the choice. What I'm saying is that amongst the names that we can get, none of them 
are Plant. None of them are Benavides. None of them are the names that we actually want to see him in the fight. None of them are Charlo. None of them are Boo Boo. But instead of that, he has this list of names that don't really – wouldn't really cut the sauce if it was regular times. So, so out of them, why can't we get the best available option so, in so wait, that So wait, list? let me get this straight. So now we're saying – that we are judging Dervianchenko off his last performance, not the Too Jacobs loud. one. We're not factoring in the the, the the clean win that Jacobs got, who lost to Canelo. We're Yo, only it, factoring his last performance. So what's Yo, the point? So it so you're saying fight at any, at exactly. Any time, so you're saying oh because he looks so good with Dervianchenko, that is the best fight for Canelo of the names offered. Uh, you are you saying otherwise? You're I'm saying that Rosado's the best fight. I'm definitely saying otherwise because I can prove with facts beyond financials. Let's just I go can by prove, what you did for me. Last, I can prove right? I can prove with facts that just because you look good today don't means you look good tomorrow. That that's absolutely seconds. that's absolutely right. No and no no. And it, it Amir take, Khan. It doesn't take much to prove that. Amir Khan. Any, yeah. Bro, why are you even bring Amir Khan up? Like what? I mean, like, that's just hater keep talk. It, keep, no, it's keep not it, hater talk. He Keeping looks good. He looks good on certain days, lately. and then and he don't look the good the next day. Think, Gabriel Rosado we... fought Umberto Gutierrez Ochoa last. Who? And, and, uh, exactly. And then uh, Devachenko fought Triple G. So yeah, we're we're giving Devachenko this shot because of his last fight, exactly. because of his performance. I'm not even looking at his whole resume and going down it like like that, you know, because I'm not gonna find too many names. So, you know, if we're just spacing it off of the simple, what have you done for me lately? Devachenko did more for me lately out of these guys. Exactly. So and did uh, more for you what? Not, in whether, losing? Whether, whether or not. In losing? Yo, in, listen. In losing. In, in losing. losing. Exactly. In losing because this is not the type of fight where he got Bro, pummeled. that's his first this is the fight, fight. This is the fight he lost this competitively. <laughs> that, that a lot of people, it, by exactly. the way, that a lot of people but gave him that, the, that, the fight. That gives us even – that gives the, the whole saying, what have you done for me more lately, more steam. Exactly. Everybody's talking about Devachenko. Ain't nobody talking about Gabe Rosado. And, 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 and it gives me more steam for the, the phrase that just because you fought good today don't mean you fight good tomorrow. Yeah, but that's sure. still that's still board board uh, boardroom talk, man. What, what's you, boardroom talk? What you mean? Uh, what what you did for me yesterday is what you you're not gonna do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, okay. So Wilder one, Wilder two. What do you, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Talking, talking, Wilder talking, looked a certain actual, way in one talking. fight, and he looked a different way in another fight. Triple G. Yeah. Triple G, for that matter. Triple G. Everybody thought he was a killer. They wanted him to fight Canelo the yeah. third time. Then Dervachenko made him look like garbage. So that's what are y'all saying? And that's that's, that's point, where Dervachenko deserves his shot. And that's Nobody, my point. All right, and that's so, my right, point. So you you can look Zago. good and bad. You can look good and bad. Hey, so you think uh, Darrell and Rosado gonna come looking their best? I'm yeah. saying Darrell. I'm saying, I'm saying Darrell. Darrell been on that level. Darrell been on that level. That's another another good consideration. He's Nobody been on that level. Chat. Real quick, super chat. Yeah. Boston ahead, Jared. Nobody projects pay per view buys or subs based on Instagram followers. If social media was an accurate gauge, Wilder Fury would have done six million buys. <laughs> and then George Foster comes along and says Rosado can't even beat CD level fighters. Let me let me let me address let me address Boston Jarrett. Um, if social media right wasn't powerful or a tool for these companies, they wouldn't have created all the jobs that they created. Mm. It's just that simple. All Very the powerful. social media jobs. Remember, Christina Poncha went from Twitter to analysts. I mean, obviously it's she did football. Now. She did football, but she became full-time content creator for them. They got, mm -hmm. Top Rank has an entire team for Twitter, Instagram. They follow Christina around to do interviews. You guys are kidding me, right? Like, well, well, we look, look at all the here. money. Look at well, all the money Bison, that the zone pumps in. on the boxing voice, though. Next, that. This show has, like, forced negotiation. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying, it's the man. truth. Like Neston got people. I remember that epic show where you had who you have on like um, Shelly Finkel, and then like who called in? Wow. And then yeah, who Eddie Hearn called it. Man, not, you telling me social media ain't powerful? Nah, you guys gotta understand, and this goes off for all of my hardcore old school. But I don't uh, know why uh, we arguing this, Doomy. Like, explain to me how Ryan got five times his pay because he told them 
Pull my numbers. I got three point something million. Show me my numbers on the zone. And they, what they said, they'd rather not show him. And instead, they renegotiate his deal. So, someone please give me the counter argument to re- receiving five times the amount simply think, because you said Cloud, I got these numbers. Every, every deal Cloud is about numbers. Matters. Every Cloud, deal no, is no, about let me numbers. Adjust, let me adjust Boston Jarrett's super chat. He's saying that each follower is worth a buy. That's what he's no, taking. No. No, I know. That's what he's taking it as. But each follower is not worth the buy. But there's a percentage that probably are worth the buy because people unite to watch fights. You know, you might come, all four of y'all might come to my house and watch the fight. I'm and only going buying it. And it's a scale. Like, he's casual, doing the math wrong. Casual. It's, it's, called, it's called CPM. Okay? Yeah. That's no. what it's called. Clicks per, per million um, or something like that. But it, it. It, uh, it it calculates and they pay you per click. So hypothetically, like every thousand clicks, you dude, Instagram. First of all, th- these these I don't want to call your names, all right? So just chill. But you don't even have a business page. You can't even see the analytics of your Instagram. Okay. <laughs> so so secondly, right when you are that popular, because I'm not right, I'm not, and I get to see it, and 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 they 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 put it for you like a portfolio. You literally just click boop and send it to anyone. Why? Because the amount of people that visit your page, the amount of impressions, the amount of clicks, the amount of shares, likes, all that is money. I was watching Doctor botch or whatever that thing is that the, the two dudes that do all the all the all the lipo and 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 famous surgery and they had yeah. this girl that i follow i don't mean i don't follow her let me take that back i don't follow her but because of boxing we all see her watch when i say her name y'all know what i'm talking about the girl with all the tattoos beautiful body but it's made but it's still beautiful i love them and uh full of tattoos britannia Red hair girl, she puts red hair. Come on, don't act like look, Mario moved up. His girl was aha. Yes, you know you seen her. Red hair, but now she got black hair. The point is, she was up there. She got 16 million followers, right? She was gonna get new ass shots, Dominique, because her followers said, Why when you twerk, your ass doesn't jiggle enough? And she said that her job was so important, her followers pay her so much that she was going back to redo the ass to get... Bro. She brought her... No, 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 let me finish. Because you don't believe how serious this is to people. She brought her social media content manager to the consultation, fellas. Money is power and numbers in this generation is power. Wake the freak up. Wake I'm quiet up. quiet because Ness saying everything I would say. Social yeah, that's, media. That's so, so power, basically, basically, what Ness is saying is social media has an impact. It's part of our society. It's a part of uh, how we negotiate now in every and aspect, started, not just boxing. Dude, think, in, think like, about it, bro. 2007, 2008. It's yeah, been that way for a minute. Been. Like, you, you got actors like Will Smith, arguably at the time, one of the biggest movie stars on earth, right? Not just in America, on earth. And they told him, look, we're not putting you in another movie until you get on social media. He said, why when I have a career this vast, do I have to be on social media? And they said, get on social media and you'll find out. Now he has one of the most active social medias, right? Because and, that's what they're judging. And he makes quality content. I, I talk about Will Smith's social media, his Instagram over and over and over. Like the dude is a genius. And, and, and it's beautiful to see him continue. Like, I, you know, we bring up LL and Jay-Z, people that can continue to go uh, with the test of time. They just adapt. Once that he is got called it, adapting. he went all the way with it. Hell he went yeah. all the way with it, and he capitalized from it every single day. We got a super chat from Mastermind Big Super Mex that says, Ness, let's be realistic. If, if Canelo fights Rosado or Durrell, people would bash it like crazy. Sergey is way more respectable and acceptable. To the hardcore, I believe you. Uh, but again, we're trying to save the zone. Financial Times said they need money. Yeah, I'm trying you- to save the zone. I don't care what y'all talking about. That's what y'all don't get. Y'all going to go watch football when it comes back. <laughs> I'm trying to save the zone. So I don't care who calls in mad at me, talking about, oh, you always picking for connect. I don't give a fuck. L- listen to me right now before you call. I am not even listening to you. I am literally fading you out. I only care about the existence of boxing. I want for PBC to succeed, ESPN Plus to succeed, and the zone. And they will not succeed with Dervianchenko. No one is signing up. No one. 
No one is re-upping their subscription for $20 for that one month that Canelo is fighting. Not for Dervinchenko. Hardcore, yes. Yo, Super Chat from Ivan G says, Ness, give the golden ticket to Rosado on the way out. Yo, mm. I think that... On the way out? It's up to that, Canelo. That would be his way out. It's, I know. That's what I'm saying. This if is I'm Rosado, I'm, I'm out after this. It's, this it's up to Canelo. In. I'm coaching. It's up to Canelo to get him out like it was up to Joe Smith Jr. to get Joe uh, to get B-Hop out. You, I you, mean, when Berto faced Floyd, we gave Floyd kind of a little bit of shit, right? When he gave him that opportunity yeah. and on his way out fight. But he did anyway because he felt like he deserved it. Got another super chat from uh, Big Super Mex. He says, if it's all based on social media, then Shannon Briggs needs to be fighting AJ next on the zone, and he needs that bag throw at that's him. That's negative because he's, he's – no, that's, no, that's negative. He he's inflating point. He's inflating Shannon's numbers, first of all. Inflation. Shannon don't got big numbers. Inflation. So Shannon only got 350, so that does not merit an AJ fight. And anyway, the numbers that he does have merit a fight, but every time they try to give him one, he pops positive. Let's let's speak facts here. Let's speak Ooh. facts. You, we want to give you a fight, but you positive and you fifty eight years old. Like we ain't trying to kill our sport. We trying he to had bring it up. Too. You know what I'm saying? He would have had the old dude, Fresno Kenno. It would have been like like Tyson and Evander right now. You know, he could have had his old dude, but he he out here, you know, doing what he ain't supposed to do. Let me get to some callers. We got Michael in Toronto. Chill. We can't hear you, Chant. We can't hear you, Michael. You stay with bad uh, connections. We're going out to Brandon, Cincinnati. Ohio. <laughs> what's good, Ness? Can you hear me? What up? Man, chilling. What's up to everybody on the panel? Um, I don't think either fight really moves the needle for the zone. Um, I don't think Derby and Chico is going to be a big draw, or do I think Gabe Rosado is going to be a big draw? I think they really do about the same amount of numbers. And that's what you keep saying is that Rosado will um, resonate more with casual fans. But the first thing the casual fans I know are going to do is look up Gabe Rosado and see that he has, what, like 12 losses? And they're going to say, <laughs> why do I want to watch this guy fight? You know, this guy's a habitual bed shitter. He's got 12 losses. Canelo's going to kill this dude. I'm not paying to see that. So until they can find, you know, somebody undefeated or a champion, you know, they just gonna have to face the facts. The numbers are going to be what they are. Gabe Rosado ain't going to do much for him for casuals or Darren Yevchenko is going to do uh, much for casuals. Cut it. Cut it. Yo, we got uh, two super chats real quick. Uh, Joe Lasisi, I think is how you say it, yeah. uh, says, Ness is AJ the A-side? He has 11 million followers. And Boston Jared says Canelo versus Masadov does better numbers than Rosado. <laughs> yeah, it does. yeah, he's not wrong, but yo, Masadov that's a crossover. That, yeah, that's a crossover uh, fight, though. Yeah, Masadov. that's a crossover. Yo, and you know, you know, Joe, that a AJ's always been the A side. Has has AJ ever been the B side? I don't think so. Nah, nah hell no. Nah, nah. Bro, nah. he's he's a habitual A side. <laughs> a sider. <laughs> nah, but but when you get to a certain level, right? Certain fights are fifty fifty, like. They already talking about Frank Warren already talking about 50-50 with AJ and Fury if it happens. So, you know, um, you can't really call A side on that. They're gonna w w when the fights are that magnitude, you usually make terms even for both. Um, let's go to Jay in Colorado. What up? Che. Che. You did? Just listening, going to... Ness, do you know who Masvidal is? Nah, some, uh, I guess... I'm, I'm, isn't it the, the dude that's Cuban? Yeah, the MMA fighter. I just learned he was Cuban the other day when he fought and, and people were saying, like, you know, trying to put him in the boxing somehow. He and fought then... in uh, Kimbo Slice's backyard fights, too. That's yeah, when he yeah, first yeah. Made I think one of y'all told me that, yeah? Uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. You know how these bitches is in the sport. Total disrespect. Kid has no class, no style at all. I'm a gorilla, I'm a dog. I'm a dog, I'm a gorilla. The smartest thing you can do is to stay away from Darren. He can't be the boogeyman if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, I'm, I'm chasing him. You want to bet a hundred thousand on that? Let's bet a million. Easy. Let's bet a million. 
Hey, good morning. Can y'all hear me good? Perfect. Um, I came in right on when Dominique was requesting a headband, talking about she still left out. Dominique, you don't want that bullshit on your head. Man, at this point, <laughs> that's the gives and his weird affection for Canelo. I'm starting to think he a side piece or something. Canelo got to be paying him under the table, whatever, and stuff like that. He got his panties on right now. He can't see no wrong. Everything is all good for Canelo. And the correction, you said he had a six-month suspension. No, they were negotiating, and it ended up giving him a six-month suspension because he was already not fighting at the time. So he, um, in between a fight, that he tested dirty for, he just had to sit out and stuff like that. So it really wasn't no fucking suspension. Um, for you, like Brandon, that's why Brandon should be arguably a caller of the year last year, this year, or whatever. Because he brought up a good point. You sitting up here arguing for Canelo to fight Dave Rosado? I mean, yeah, David Rosado? I mean... Thank you for adding nothing to the conversation yet again. We're going to King Amin in New Jersey. Yo. Yo. Listen. First of all, I'm in camp mode. Let me say this right. I'm in camp mode getting ready for Idris. Uh, Idris, I'm sending home back home in the UK on a gurney on Saturday. That's that. Um, but listen, I was begging for the J. Now, I don't... Dare of your chink. I mean, this is this is this is classic A side boxing politics. But people that like to throw away Canelo career, I mean, listen, he did the right thing. He is chess, it ain't checkers. He did the right thing way back. He took the fight with Mayweather. Mayweather's gone, Canelo's the guy. Do I agree with all the moves? No. Because personally, I think, and I said it earlier in the week or last week, run it back with Jacobs. But that would be dependent if Jacobs gonna let his hands go. Or is he going to stand there and pull a Clotty or, or a Broner against Pacquiao? But um, if Canelo don't fight one of the young Lions sooner than later, I mean, people that's already calling Duck, then they'll have a case. Take this fight, whatever it is, coming out of COVID. He got to get in there with either Plant Benavidez or um, what's the other guy? Plant Benavidez or um, shit. But that's it, man. That's my call. I'm out. Yo, put this into perspective for, uh, you know, knowledgeable boxing fans. People look at AJ's resume and say he ducked, right? Wow. People, people look at AJ's resume and say Tyson Fury has a better one. So, again, why won't they say whatever about Canelo? Oh, let's not forget to throw Danny in there. Danny. Danny Garcia Danny, is another one Danny, that's always been. Danny's being... another underrated fighter and, 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 and to, you know, uh, um... Crapped on Cheer. fighter. Crapped on fighter, you know? Um, but, you know, this is what you deal with when you deal with people that don't know the sport. You know what I mean? And that's why it's, it's tough for people to be fighters. You know what I mean? That's why we're losing them to football and basketball because you... What other sport is like this? You know what I mean? What other sport is like this that, 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 that you could go in there, risk your life, and, and, and people, you know, are so critical? But uh, let me get to who's next. Jonathan, talk to me. Just listening, going once. We going out to ladies and gentlemen. I like to introduce to you a young fella, and he comes from the Magnolia. Oh. What my audio sound like, you hear me? Real good. You good? All right. That was up. That was up, bro. Uh, first and foremost, bro, you know what I'm saying? I, I never formally introduced myself to the new co-host, bro, so I, I would like to know, you know, who, who, who I'm dealing with right now, you hear me? Hi, I'm Dominique. Oh, what's up, Dominique? Where you from, baby? Oh, I love that question. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh shit, that was up, that was up. You know, I'll be I'll be running up and down through that thing every now and then. You heard me? I'm gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? Let you know what the end of talking about when I when I make a stop through that thing, you heard me? <laughs> Can you guess where NO's from? Um New Orleans. 
Bingo. Did I get it right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hit it right on the head. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know. Oh, Dominique, you should come on more because you're gonna turn these dudes into boomerang. He spent his whole yo. his whole yo, that conversation. Shit like the date show. Yeah, like, no, yo, his whole conversation up, was was getting hey, yo, to know shorty. you. So he gonna have to like the mama and them in there. He gonna have to, <laughs> <laughs> he gonna have to like he counter have punch just to get to the conversation. Just to get yeah, to the boxing talk. Yeah, he's gonna have to counter punch to get his points off. <laughs> yo, and no, uh, and uh, yo, yo, I'm telling you, it's, yo. <laughs> Yo, and I no. thought I thought that hat was a polo hat, Dominique. No, it's no, a dope, dope hat. It's nah, dope. I see that, but I thought it was a old vintage polo. I was like, oh, she got the polo. I wonder if she a low life. <laughs> low, not, low life is like yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah. Enrique put a song on the title, yo. Now nah, I know. Yeah, low life was strictly polo hat. Polo. Day. That was some yeah, nice. They wore they wore stuff like that, but it was polo. You know, they wore the the long bill hat, cardigans. Oh, that had fire though. Had the, you you was one of them polo bear book bag dudes. Wasn't yeah, you? I was a polo bear book bag dude. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let me get to uh <laughs> Lids funny. Low, Decatur, Georgia. What up? Hey, 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 what's happening, everybody? Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to Baldy. Hey, real quick, so I ain't got no problem with the fight necessarily, but the only but I got one Darryl I'm taking most to fight uh my boy Andrade. Andrade said he would fight Dervianchenko. Yes, he told Eddie to make that fight happen. Okay, so if them two can get it on, I would rather see that. Because, you know, as we all know, my boy don't come across too many fights. So I don't want Canelo to take that from him. Um, I just wanted to make a quick note on this whole, you know, with the Twitters. And uh, Shada, we, I, I hope everybody understands it does play a part. But it don't, like, social media is more of a personality. It don't really describe a man's skills, you dig? Unless he put a video, you know what I mean? But so we can't necessarily base everything off social media, you feel me? Because look at Terrence Crawford, bad motherfucker, but don't nobody want to fight him. But I ain't going to say that no more because people say they do now. But whatever, you get what I'm saying. So, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I think Terrence is exactly part of the part of uh, this conversation. Let me show you this, bro. You going to give him the Terrence numbers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 500 and, got... 575,000. Now, now, now he's arguably number one or two. Meanwhile, the arguable, the arguable dude got 1.8. You know, the stars in boxing got millions. Javante is a star. That's what his promoter says, right? That's, that's what Leonard Ellaby says. He says he's the biggest fight at 135. And what he got? Millions of followers. Canelo's a star. What he got? Millions. Danny, Yo, Danny, pushed. not Danny, I mean, I'm, I meant to say Andy, AJ, Wilder, Fury, Ryan, the stars, you know who they are. Like, people need to just stop this. Stop it. Yeah. Andre ain't no star. You know what I mean? Ter Ter people Terrence just start in the bubble. People just start in the bubble. Terrence is on his way. He just need. he hasn't had that fight. He needs that one fight. Like, Andy needed that one. Look at what happened to Andy with one fight. Yo, 575,000 followers. And no real like crazy push like on his page. He's just no, a you're, regular you're, guy. You're bugging. Shows you're bugging. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. His numbers don't translate with his skill. Look, this is a guy with two SPs, two ring magazines, undisputed. Yeah. He's been pushed by top rank from the beginning, who who made every other star in boxing. Okay? They made Oscar. They made Floyd. Okay? Whoever you want, they made him. And they had ESPN for, 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 for Terrence's deal. So he's he on Sports Center. Though, he I'm has good attention, though, Ness. I'm not saying that he don't. This is not a Crawford thing. This is oh, okay. this is top rank not being able to do what they need to do with him. Because they he's he's on ESPN. He's on Max on Boxing. He's on Sports is, Center. Is it fair to say, though, that, that because he's not in the drama, like we see, let's say an example is of like Adrian Broner, because he doesn't have that type of drama. His his numbers haven't skyrocketed because they do push him a lot. They push no, him a lot everywhere. No, no, no. I think so, I think is so that I'm they haven't done the right fights. Like, look, Jose Benavidez was a was a, a a blessing in disguise because of what you said, drama. That one gave him clout. It really did. The the highlights. It was on Sports Center. I, 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 wait, I don't know if it was supposed to but I know it was on ESPN. But, um, you know, you need the right fights to bring out Terrence to make him sell the fight, you know? 
it's not just good enough to be good in the ring, bro. I mean, obviously, look, AJ won every fight versus elite level opposition. And again, we talked about it. People still got something to say. Yo, Terrence, Terrence with the new leaf CBD. I didn't even know he was messing with uh, anything what? in the. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> got it on his story. But um, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, his name is T Bud. Let um, me get to Sid in Orlando. Talk to me. Man, what up? Uh, everybody like the video? And, um, I'm just feeling like I don't know who Canelo going to fight. But uh, until everything get back to normal and it's, it's, it, they got money to fill up seats or however they're going to figure out what they're filling out, I'm going to just watch it, you know what I'm saying, and just hope for the best in the future. That's all I got. All right. So, so Dominique and Enrique and everybody was like, oh, $2 billion, you know, they're going to stretch it. So let's bring it back to... Money. Remember, Canelo makes thirty-six million, right? Remember, Dervianchenko turned down five point five million. Again, is Nes being Canelo protective, or am I being realistic? You, they're gonna spend forty million on that fight, and it's gonna do what? What's the what's the ROI on that, man? You guys gotta chill, man. It'll never happen. That 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 don't mean even make sense. Like it's a loss, loss in my opinion. No. Am I, wrong, am I wrong here? 40 mil on that fight? Uh, no, actually more than 40, right? Because Canelo is 36. So Dervichenko turned down 5.5 <laughs> versus Canelo. Well, what was Canelo's last payout to his last to Kovalev? Bro, he got more for that because he moved up. He did all special shit for, for the zone. But I mean, that, maybe because the he's average, asking him to move up, he feels like he deserves a little bit more too, you know? Who? Oh, hell yeah. Exactly. You know? So they're going to... But you're about to make me go into untested waters, right? <laughs> exactly. So he's going to want more money, too. I don't know. I don't know. Do they do they pay him what he wants? We got Steve in Chicago. Talk to me. Yeah, hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, morning. <clears throat> uh, I don't have too much more to add on this. Uh, the only thing I'll say is, Who's that guy, the, the UK dude, that he's, like, doing the marketing for the zone here in America? You interviewed him. What's his uh, name? Joe McCroskey. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, they need to replace him with Dominique. <laughs> Everything she was saying is exactly what I'd be saying. And you guys need to listen to her. Even you, Ness, take some notes from what she was saying earlier. She, she, she understands the U.S. market. And that's all I got. Can I yeah, say thank you? Voice that was a lot so of nice of you to say. That was so sweet. Look at Enrique, jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Mike. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> Yo, let me go to Jonathan. What up? What's going on from the 213-330-614-419? Um, I'm going to just say this. At first, I was like, Yo boo-boo all day it's the perfect situation but when i look at the constraints that ness is um putting in to the bulk pot he's right you know what i'm saying and i disagree that risotto would be looked at the casual as non-competition because it's all about how he's marketed people forget risotto fought ggg in a bloodbath fight and it's it did well it's not about how great of a fighter you are it's how well you can sell and with the constraints yes Rosado makes sense over Dervinchenko, point blank, period. If you disagree, is it because you're a hardcore or you don't know the analytics and you don't know the numbers and you refuse to accept that? I, I agree it should be a um, Rosado or a Durrell as um, far as saving the zone because this is not about building Canelo's resume. It's a Thank you. Yeah. Nah, nah, he's right. And and you were right too. But see, that's the thing. I was disregarding numbers. I took that out the equation. I was going more impactful to Canelo's career. But why? Not saving the why? Network. It's that a pandemic. It. It's a global pandemic. Why do you why do you think that this one company out of all the companies in the world is gonna do business different? You you and Dominique said they're gonna try and save that two billion and and, and stretch it. So what? We're gonna spend forty Forty something million on Dervichenko because casual yeah, fans said so. 
Get the hell out of here. ROI don't make sense, champ. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> and and after he mentioned the Gennady Golovkin Rosado fight, I kind of said, you know what? Oh. Rosado did give Gennady a good fight, nah, too. Nah, yo, give me, yo, let me. So fucking, I might go. I'm towards, taking your Puerto Rican, uh, everything Puerto Rican from you. You just. I Enrique. might go towards a Rosado fight. I don't think that because we also said people ain't people are cutting back on spending. I don't think that it gets you more clicks per million. That's all I'm saying. Man, you bumped your the, head. The bro. millions ain't gonna be clickable. <laughs> Yo, like he, that. he so, got he so, got whole new thing. What he got? Three times I, or I four do, times the amount? Go. I would watch the Rosado fight over Darrell's fight. Yo, George Foster, Rosado ain't my friend like that. Like, like, it ain't I was like, just ready it to ain't, tell you. Let me yeah. tell you something. Let me tell you. I'm going to put this out there right now, right? Because I'm really the only one campaigning for Rosado since the very beginning. I'm going to tell you right now. I can almost guarantee that if he gets the fight, we won't get him on an interview. The last interview we did with him was, was tough. It was tough to get. I'm telling y'all. So it ain't. Oh, it, was it? There, it was tough to get. Because we went to the gym and everything. He seemed accessible. I ain't talking about... See, that's... You talking years ago. I'm talking about the last interview we did on the show. I, I still have... I mean, it's, the message is there. I'll show you how difficult it was to get it. It's not going to be easy. I'm not I'm not banging for Risotto because all of a sudden, we going to have him on the show a week. Nah. 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 It's just I know what the fuck makes sense. Like, I know how to do my job. You know what I mean? I'm not here to be a boxing fan. You want to see me be a boxing fan? When we do a live fight chat, that's me as a boxing fan. You hearing my live commentary of, oh, damn, that's live. But I'm always going to have a business mind because I, I want the sport to succeed. Niche sport. Listen, y'all just became fans. I've been doing this since people been saying niche sport. Boxing is dead. Oh, what happens if uh, Oscar leaves? What happens when Pacquiao leaves? Oh, the sport's over when Floyd leaves. Mike is gone, so it's over. Man, shut the hell up. Y'all knew. I'm old. Beat it. Simple. Anyway, uh, Stonebone, say the best for last. Stonebone. Hey, um, I just think probably since since we talk in American market, even we was talking about this. I didn't know it was so they was like it's like twelve losses. I was like ah, uh, but just in America, Gay Rosado would be a more recognized fight than a Darius Chenko. How about you just go look at what Gennady and, and, and Derek Tinko numbers were and look at what Gabe numbers were. I don't know. I'm, I don't think either one of them really drive major subscriptions, but I think one does more interest because Gabe is going to be speaking in English. He got a personality and he got a look. You know what I mean, so I think that'll do. But the zone, if they don't have more original content, just think about this. If Just say, what if COVID would have made fights go until they would have they said, no fights until uh, January 1st. What would the design have done then? You know what I mean? They would have tried to go to some foreign country and do fights, and that wouldn't have drove much interest in America unless it was American fighters. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Yo, and, and, and think Cut about it. it, man. They trying to get the money from Canelo so bad, they still, Ryota Morota still a, an option. We didn't even talk about that, but I see an article where he's still an option. You yeah, know, the Japanese the Japanese market is still an option, and DAZN wants it because guess what? DAZN has DAZN Japan. So, you know, that's another thing that they want over there as well. Uh, we're going to go to Boomerang J-Mac. Can you hear me? Mac. Loud and clear, champ. It's funny how you miss my counterpunch, but I don't want it. Um, Jonathan Sims just came out and gave his number out on the air. Right? <laughs> that was just hilarious. That that's what he did. Why does it make sense for Rosado when <laughs> Canelo is the cash cow? And Canelo can fight anybody like Demetrius Andrade, uh, 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 Servin um, uh one of them guys at 175 instead of picking these lightweight cupcakes. And it's funny how every time you pick a fight, it always got some stipulation to it, like, um, it's always advantage Canelo and stuff like that. Canelo may be the cash cow, but Canelo kind of he um for he got his ass whooped by Floyd for starters, and he got a fan base that just follows him and they just support him on no matter what fight. Via Nesta Gibbs, Nesta Gibbs arguing for David Rosado, but he don't want him fighting with Demetrius Andrade that has been in his weight class since 154, and he actually avoided Demetrius Andrade the fight. Cut it, cut it, cut it. 
Dominique. That's because Ness talk boardroom only. He don't talk fanaticism. Dominique. Dad, yeah. Dad, he put you to sleep? No. <laughs> she got she got to <laughs> <laughs> No, he I actually would... like stimulated my mind because I was thinking, you know, I wonder are they forcing boxing to come back too soon? Like it, how safe is it given COVID and like how important? We might need to get like a doctor on here for a show or something like that. And really walk us through. Well, they definitely take in all the proper protocol, and 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 if they if they follow the events that have taken place already, like in Nicaragua and obviously UFC events, and uh, I, I mean what they said they're gonna do. Also, like Bob said, you know they're gonna test the week out, and then they're gonna test the day of. They got tests already that they get the results within the hour. They're also gonna quarantine after they test. They got a whole floor. Just for the fighters. Fighters are going to eat at a designated restaurant. Like, no, Bob gave a lot of details. Bob ain't playing. I can't speak for any other entities, but Bob doing his shows this month, allegedly with all, you know, that he said, he's allegedly not playing. They're taking definitely all the necessary precaution. Um, yeah, there's yeah. safety standards that are out. But so let me let me ask you one that. thing, one thing. Um, Dominique, repeat yes. one one thing. Just repeat one thing J-Mac said. Um, He said that you know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what happens. That's what happens when you don't add anything to the show. You don't add nothing. When you don't add nothing, no, she falls asleep. No. I she falls asleep. That, that, when you don't oh, add nothing, no, Dominique. No, no. When you don't add nothing, she falls asleep on your call <laughs> and then lies not to make you feel bad. But when put on the spot, the truth is out. You That's don't, you don't stimulate, you that don't stimulate, you your don't stimulate, you don't add, you don't add to the show. You just call in to hate on Canelo because you are a Canelo hater. You don't know how to talk about boxing. You can only talk about, oh, the Clambiterol and Nestor Gibbs and his officiation, he obsessed in the panties and the panties. Get your ass out <laughs> and talk some boxing. But a lot of people feel like him, so you can't take that So where away. they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? They just don't call. They scared or something. He, he mentioned <laughs> Matt, something Matt, that makes Matt sense. He was friend. like, yo, why Why every time he fights, his opponent got stipulations in the contract? Who? You what know? stipulations? Like, like yo, they coming up. He called them. They got to come up way. Canelo or, fighting at 168. You want to fight him? That's on you. Don't fight him. Yeah, don't but fight him. Cash cow though. That's why you. Oh, I'm sorry. I all right. And, and what right happened by saying I enjoyed the call? And, oh. <laughs> but you don't remember it. <laughs> I like no. I but you don't remember. Hey, 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 hey. And I can't wait for you to call back. Enrique, Oscar <laughs> made Floyd move up. Floyd Yo, ain't never Floyd, fight at fifty four. He never fought at fifty four. But guess what? He wanted the Oscar De La Hoya ticket. Simple as that, man. You right. learn from the best. Do this. You learn from the best. You, you learned, right. yo, where did, where did Floyd, what about, you talking stipulation? So what, people forgot Floyd made Canelo fight at 152? Y'all forgot that? You, I learned, you, you I learned out, from bro, those before me. I learned from those before me. Floyd Mayweather tell you every day, I give fighters the blueprint. I gave him the blueprint. Canelo's following it. He mad. He Pacquiao, mad. Pacquiao did the same thing. This me. Like, this me copying when you my, have the, when my, you have my the meme from to, Harlem. When you have the clout to do it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You you're gonna do it, whether it's right or wrong is not the point. It's just the way boxing is. Like we and you're we, fighting we on the app, and, and you're exactly. fighting on the app. <laughs> <laughs> Counterpunch nah, from, nah. from J Mac. Hold up, he might try to ask son. Let's see. Okay. You, you know what's funny? You said I bring nothing to the show, but you're still talking about my call after I just Bad. got off the phone. Bad. Exactly. So, Mister Nesta Gibbs, you could put out whatever narrative you want, like Casual said. They scared to call, and some people get tired of just saying it over and over. You hear your calls like Sid Brown saying, man, Canelo could do whatever and stuff. People are just tired of complaining. I'm just consistent about it, and I'm going to keep bringing it up because people like you get on here and support what he do for boxing and call him the cash cow. Canelo is he a, a two-time cheater. Um, the stipulations in the fights is always something. And I'm going back on the WBO. He fought Liam Smith for that belt. But when Demetrius Andrade had that belt, he ain't going nowhere. To so people forget Cotto made uh, Canelo fight at 155 and Sergio Martinez fight at like 156 or 58. You know, the people before you. And those wasn't Cotto at ASA? Oh, yeah, it was a time when it was him, Mayweather, and Pacquiao, right? Only selling pay-per-views. Yeah, yeah. So I don't understand, like, this is boxing. This is boxing. You know? What, what? What? So let me ask you guys something. 
How much better is Cavalasquez than Rosado? Because he wasn't a mandatory. They chose to fight him. You see, people pick I and mean, choose. I mean, the record will show People pick and but... choose their, their arguments. Yeah, exactly. The record will show. And Cavalasquez had a draw with Ray Robinson and never fought nobody in his motherfucking life. What but but people that won't some, talk some, about some, that. Some they won't talk that, about that. That, 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 that you know, Gabe Rosado's um, resume sucks, but he's fought quality opponents, and we know what we're getting with Gabe. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, well, we well, Cavalasquez's resume sucks. Cavalasquez's resume sucks. Jose Benavidez's resume sucks. No, the thing is, he, he, he doesn't have losses. And, you know, if you're a casual, you look at Luke those Luke Keeler. Numbers. Luke Keeler's resume sucks. Bubu Andrade's resume sucks. What the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, but he got O. They got O's. Who? You know what I'm saying? Who? Who? Yeah, Andrade undefeated. got his O on his resume. Okay. Because and he can't, can't nobody. And you can't and discount casual. what that O, Yo, what that when o I, means. When I was a hardcore casual, meaning like I really went by resume and I saw nine losses, I'm not. I'm like, ooh, he losing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, because you're a and casual Rizzotto, and you're going to go by the record. It looks yeah. good. If you look at Gabe Rosado's, and I think one of the callers called in, like you, you look at his record and you're like, what? 12 losses? 11? What, what's this? Bro, listen, there's a reason why every time an undefeated fighters are fighting, the ring announcer says, somebody's O has got, got to go. go. Absolutely. Because it's such an important aspect. I lost that argument. I agree. But there's also a reason why guys like Gabe Rosado – uh, Jesus Soto Carras. Um, I mean, just Salido? dozens. Can we, can we throw exactly, in exactly. Orlando Salido. You, when fighters are made for television, they made for television. You will never know because you will never be in that position to pick and choose who gets put on television. You just don't know. But I've been watching the sport long enough to know that you don't need to know. You don't need to know to be on TV. What you yeah. need to be is made for TV. You need to be. You you got to give the certain type of fight that they want to see on TV. And that's Rosado. That's Carras. That's, that's Orlando what Canelo Salido. wants. He wants to give the fight fans fun fights. Dude. And dude real quick, Esso Acuni on a super chat. Canelo fought Lara instead. LOL. Fans ain't consistent. Keep the same energy for Canelo with their own fighters they support. Boxing would be better off. I don't know. Shit. What is he talking about? That's so out of context. I don't know, context. but I'll read it again. Canelo fought Lara instead. LOL. Fans ain't consistent. Keep that same energy for Canelo with their own fighters they support. Boxing would be better off. No, exactly. He's saying that, that Canelo no. fought Laura and that, you know, basically, like, that was the big, like, that was him stepping up. That was him fighting the guy that nobody thought he would fight. And now he's saying, like, keep that same energy for the and people that you support. And that's exactly what I said when I ran down Crawford's resume. That's why I'm saying it, because I know that's... You know, old boy's favorite fighter. And it's like, look, you don't give him any shit and he ain't fighting nobody. Like, he ain't fighting nobody. He would wish to have Canelo's resume. It's just that simple. But that's everybody. We out of here. We'll be back 7 p.m. Eastern. Let me double check, double check. Oh, we got Michael. Talk to me. Michael. My bad, my bad. Yeah, it's Mikey. Yo, uh, now I was just listening. Uh, All right. I came in mad late. late. No I problem, like no problem, no problem. Yo, what's up with that Stripe joint? You mad me sign up. I mean, you ain't had me. I signed up. I was like, damn, I hope this shit ain't no fraud. Who are you the talking stri- about? Stripe. Throne, the Throne. Oh, throne nah, live. I told you we'd talk about it on, on Skype, bro. I, like, fall back right now. I thought damn. this was Skype. Fall bro. backy right now. Like, let me see... Oh, That's that a, you got Juan? Did you go to Juan? V- Valdez? I don't. Is he? No, old? I don't know. Juan in the Bronx. <laughs> oh, we got. <laughs> down. We got um. Hold that, that's, him. The, that's him right. That, that's him on Blog yeah, Talk. Yo, you got I got to refresh. Let me go to Harlem. Greatness, talk to me. Greatness, what up? Yo, how y'all living? Living. living. And how y'all living, bless, y'all? Everything is blessed. Everything blessed, man. A special good morning to you, Damo. It's, it's good to hear a pleasant voice in the morning. And uh, just make it some sense. You know, um, I definitely uh, I definitely agree with what you're saying about the Daz and app. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I don't know anything about uh, Daz and or the zone, how, how, how they, how they want to say it. But uh, I get, I'm getting everything from TBV in terms of boxing. You know, I do feel like they got to put some some content out there. But uh, if I want if I want the zone or to to put some content out there, then eventually I'm just gonna want TBV to put out similar content just so I could solely watch TBV. So the zone is not mm. really 
wasn't in anything from me, to be perfectly honest. Um, but other than that, yo, you know, tune in to Boxing Balls, you know, for... I'm looking looking forward to that, man. It's it's, de it's it's definitely an exciting part, and I'm definitely looking forward for that Mario versus Intrigue. That's that right there is 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 a pay per view. You know I mean, but uh, yo, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. I see y'all later, man. Likewise, my man. man. Great Thank call. Thank you. Yo, it ain't gonna be no pay per view. It's yo. gonna be a massacre. Your money made <laughs> versus Intrigue. <laughs> They've been Chee. keeping me in the cage. I've been saying it's only. Let let get the keys, bro. Get the keys. Let me out the cage. He said, "Nah, man, you we got to keep you in here for just a second. And so I'm been like, "Yo, yo, you like Jet Li I've in been, that movie? What's that movie with Jet Li when they had the collar on him?" And he was oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, man, what's it called? Once they let that collar out, he was beasting. Bro. Yo, real quick, super chat, Jonathan Sims. Counter punch, c -c 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 combo breaker. When the skipper comes back on the helm, I'm here. We'll what up? Who, what is it, TJ? Hey, Jonathan Sims. Oh, Jonathan Sims, what up? What's going on? Uh, let me clear a few things. I gave out area codes first. I said 614, 213, 419, and 330. But nevertheless, oh, hi, yo. it's going down. Nevertheless, Ness, you did not lose that. Un defeated argument y'all are missing the point it's about marketing you mean to tell me uh it's about taking advantage of the opportunity uh a uh, 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 oh marketing is just like saying a, a fighter coming back from cancer or a fighter who's took in multiple fighters oh or pacquiao who's moved up multiple division and is the king of different weights so it's not about the oh it's about what you can market and that's point is saving the zone not about a fan favorite fight. It's about the money aspect coming off of COVID. If if this was 2021 or 22 and we're in the middle and the economy is going well, yes. He Damn, I wanted to let you go longer. Anytime somebody helping my argument, I'm telling <laughs> nah, you. I feel but I, I just don't ever... get it. I don't get why they got to hold Canelo to this crazy stand. Meanwhile, Top Rank is doing a, f a whole month of tune-ups. Like, chill, y'all. Yeah, that's chill. fine. It's what that superstardom, man. Gift and a curse. What I'm gotta... saying is that you don't you feel gypped if you go and you buy something and it don't hold to par. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna feel gypped if he go in there and wash up Rosado. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be like, damn, why they put him in there? Again, uh, what did you, you feel gypped? Me? Let me ask you, know you know did you feel gypped when he washed up Kirkland or did you love it? Or well, highlights Kirkland, still playing of that on I IG. I loved it, Chip. Ah! No, Kirkland, Kirkland represented some. Kirkland, what would he represent? Kirkland, yeah. he can't. He was like a tough man. He a was tough like, man yeah, that got I'm knocked a, out to Nobuhiro Hiroshida with three got, five knockouts. Got, Get out of here, bro. But, but what Enrique is saying, he represented like he's a fan favorite. Like everybody <laughs> loves. Oh, Kirkland Gabe fight. Rosado. He's like the threat. Uh, Gabe he Rosado. Everybody Gabe loves a Gabe Rosado fight. Yeah, but I, which I fight was he boring in? Listen, I think with Kirkland, he always has a chance because he's such a dog. With Rosado, I can't say that, you know, at a certain point Kirkland, in the fight. I Kirkland think he always has a chance. Kirkland. Kirkland. No, no, he's a dog for sure. But I'm just saying I think James Kirkland's built different. I don't know. James I could be Kirkland wrong, always got a who chance. Who has James Kirkland really, really fought? Who has he beat? That's, that's top is, notch. Hey, 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 do me. That's not I mean, even. y'all aren't do wrong. Me. You're do not me. wrong. Don't say Glenn Tapia. No, do me. That's not even. Glenn Tapia. Do me. That's not even the good question the good question is who has he lost to that wasn't an underdog he, this dude loses to underdogs he's the favorite losing like chill champ like stop it. I, don't, I don't even Kirkland. know who nabuhiro Kirkland. ishida is because he was the underdog he that, beat that was a tuna Nobiro has 27 wins, 11 losses, just like gabe rosado gennady that dude don't even he's not even alive no more gennady retired him <laughs> in, in, in Monaco, bro, yeah. he put Will, him like. Oh, he did. Paul, he did. Paul Williams Damn. beat him. Paul Williams beat him too. I, on, I got bro. to cover that fight in Corpus. That was Paul Williams' last fight was against Ashida. Oh shit! He not. Well, he yeah. Yeah. Yo, and, and everybody that keeps. And I'm not just talking to Joseph. Uh, I, even though I know he put that in the in the pre pro, but I, look, everybody that keeps talking about, <laughs> oh, you know, Boo Boo, like who's he fought? Who's he fought? Where's his resume? Yo, Boo Boo has been dodged by a lot of people. Like he's been calling out fighters and he, was and, in and he was supposed to get charlo and and i understand that you know part of that was his fault but the fact that they never went back to that fight 
That ain't on Boo Boo. And opinion. he was ghost for a little bit. You know, that, that, yeah, that, that's that, took, true. that took a lot. I mean, wasn't he out for like a year or two or something? Bruh, shit? it's momentum, man. If you lose, yeah, it, he lost that's that. on you. That's His on momentum you. was just definitely set off. But at the same time, you can't deny the fact that this man's name has been out there for so long. Why aren't people fighting him? Why is it that every time we get a fighter or a trainer or somebody fighting? on that talk about Boo Boo, they Why say, yo, that fighting? man is going to be tough. That, that's, no, that's your favorite fighter's favorite fighter. I don't, I don't think he had the backing. Now he does. You know, You're now crazy. he has the zone. Bro, what do you mean he, now he does? He just got four tune ups with the zone. He signed That's a what four. I said. He signed a four a four tune up fight deal. Let me just say this. Let me just say the zone are clowns. Because nobody wants to fight. No, them. no, let me say this. The zone are clowns. They gave them four tune ups, then re signed them. <laughs> <laughs> They're keeping them oh around. man, they keeping it. Yo, they they keeping them on ice. Yo, for Jacob. yo I remember that oh, fight. Frozen, I remember that fight. It? I remember that fight. The uh, the uh, <laughs> Demetrius Andre had on the zone. I think it was um the second to last yo, fight. Him and his dad. Fight, was... Him and his dad hugged so much, right? And then his dad was in the camera like. I love the zone and Eddie. I'm like, I know the fuck you do. I know. You're I know. Hater, bro. You're such a hater. I'm not a bro. hater, bro. I'm, bro. For, I'm for any fighter getting their <laughs> money. That's what I'm trying to tell yeah. you. Like, stop rushing Andre. He chilling. Like, you heard him and his dad. They good. <laughs> they, stop rushing him. Bro. They, they like, racking yo, it up. Money. They yeah, racking it Easy money. Bruh, my man, my man living that life. He went from a low Caesar to dreads. He don't care. He don't care. He just like, yo, I'm gonna do all these other things, bro. Like he's all right. If he <laughs> listen, if he cared, let me tell you, if he cared, he'd have been hunting down Sergey Dervachenko, Islandri Laura. You know, there's he names out he there. Called out. There's what are you talking about? There's names out there. No, Dervianchenko. Yeah. Oh, Dervianchenko. You know, Islandri Laura. You know, you need names to make your name. There's names out there, but people don't want that. They want that golden ticket, and it got to be Canelo to give it to you. No. Get your ass out there and make your own lane. Simple. Yeah, I, Let me go I to Coyote real quick. Okay, go ahead. Uh, In the UK. Hey, hey, hey. To this day. One of the best intros, champ. <laughs> you know what it is. You know what it is. What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm just listening, really. But, you know, just wanted to shout you guys that well done for the great job. Not really able to engage much because of work these days. But, you know, you guys are doing a fantastic job. So carry on. All right. Listen, let me let me tell you something Yo, that Liam uh, Williams could arguably be Demetrius Andre's biggest fight, like in his career. Yeah, okay, but 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 you know, I, I don't know if you know this, but uh I now have access to the secret producer, and he just reminded me that Rosado lost to one of Andrade's tune ups. So uh, yeah. who's Andrade's tune up? <laughs> Who? Selecki? So yeah. Like, yeah, 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 and that's what I'm saying. And 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 Andrade didn't knock him down, and Rosado did. That's why TV puts Rosado on. Don't y'all? That's what I'm telling you. It ain't it's, y'all don't he get ain't it. Boring. Yeah, yeah y'all but don't you want to see the dude? Okay, but you're saying you want to see the dude that's gonna lose for sure, but is gonna get you. No, the... I'm telling you, television I... coming off of COVID is seeking an action fight that draws attention. And if it doesn't get live attention, they want highlights to put on YouTube to draw for the next time. Well, the people paying for the zone want the best fights, and Andrade represents the best fights. If you thought that the zone cared about you and J Mac as hardcore fans, they would have not put Logan Paul and KSI and Jake Paul and Ebby. Stop yeah, it, guys! Yeah, but who did they Just have stop on those it. undercards? All right, guys. All right. I think you know it's the fights. Look, the fights. The way we make fights have evolved, man. We can't ignore it. And like, even though we're gonna stick to what. As a hardcore fan, we want to see. Obviously, Devachenko represents that. But what Ness is trying to drive home is that you're going to get the action and the attention and that 
telenovela kind of story, the lead up and all that. You're going to get it with these guys. You can't get it with Everchenko. I can't get excited uh, about a, a, a face off or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I could get excited as a, as a fight hardcore fan. Yeah. But like if I don't know nothing about boxing and you're trying to get me to get into your subscriptions, how are you going to pull me in? And, and, and right now, since they've taken such a big hit, it's got to be more than just delivering that fight that that the card casuals want to see. We got to do something to Bird. boost this up. Bro, Bird. if if Andre numbers was was there, the zone would have been pushing him to Canelo. And Canelo would take him based off that Luke Kila fight since y'all have that Stop. logic. Since y'all have that Dervichenko logic, if one dude could look bad and get a fight, well, then one dude should look bad and get a fight too with Andre. Listen, my final thoughts, uh, I'm going to sum it up like this. I understand the times we're in. I understand the fights that we're going to get. Uh, you know, So Dervichenko fits that narrative in the best kind of way where it's not the fights that we want because, because the fights that we want we can't get right now with no crowds. So if we're going to get something, Dervichenko, in my opinion, represents one of the best case scenarios um, within the context of what's going on, you know, economically speaking. So... At Mario Mungi on Twitter, at Mario Mungi on Instagram. Peace. Alex underscore Doomsday underscore L A I N E Z on IG and TikTok. Alex Inus TVB Twitter. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because if you don't, we're going live on a flagship. You already know. But if you don't tune in on Thursdays and you just happen to be cruising by our channel and you like what you're hearing, turn into our program at 7 o'clock. Thursday flagship show. We'll have a bunch of topics for you guys. Hit that notification bell so you know we're going live. Normally, we would have been going overtime, but not today. Thursday's the flagship show. Big show at night. Uh, but OT is one of the things we do right after YouTube. We go into our overtime to our Patreon family. If you want to join us, boom! $3, a cup of coffee, $5 sandwich, and I know Ness uh, plays around with my food uh, comparisons, but buy us that slice, uh, that big pizza Yo, pie. Get, get, get do me, pay, give him the $15 for the monthly gym membership instead of all this food that he's asking for. <laughs> but, uh, hey, yo, yeah, I can't man. wait till they open the gym, man. Um, yeah. You I know what I mean? Like Train with me man. on virtual. Train with me on virtual. Oh, you know what? I, I, I've been running again. Uh, that's one thing that I did stop. And yesterday, I actually did four miles. I hadn't done that in so long, man. Felt but it good. Felt, it felt, felt good. It felt good. I got to keep doing it, man. Did I it just, feel like death? Uh, yo, the, the, the fourth mile. I was telling my girl this, bro. The fourth mile. Because I said to myself, I'm going to do... I usually do two. I'm going to do three this time. But then my OCD kicked in. I said, no, it got to be double. It got to be four. So I went for the four, bro. On my fourth mile, my legs were burning. I was trying to make it home. I ain't drive to the park. I ran to the park. It's not like I could have drove back. I had to make that last mile, but I made it. So, uh, yeah, I was happy. I'll do that. a free session with you for real, like on the TBB Live Instagram. And we'll do virtual. And you guys got a website, right? Uh, uh, yeah, um, well, we have an app. Oh, you guys got an app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you got to hit me up to get plugged into the app because that's paid for. But your session, like, I'll do it for free. We'll do it live on um, TVB, their live Instagram. And we'll Yo. let's right. do a live session. That'll be fun, right? Yeah, no, I mentioned. Uh, He's backing out because I look strong. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I, I, I think that's a great idea. Uh, you know, we're doing uh, something with White Collar Boxing. I did uh, with Coach Mitty on his okay. Instagram Live. They did the same thing. I think it's a great way for people to stay in shape. And uh, it's not that bad, you know. It's not that bad. Uh, you would think that you would have problems listening. But if you got some headphones on, you know, and uh, it, I, it helps I a lot. Ex I have experience with it uh, because, like, I would use apps that weren't live, that would just give me the feedback, like, okay, you know, now do jumping jacks, you know what I mean? And they timed yeah. it out and stuff perfect, so I think that a live session would be... Oh, yeah, and it's interactive. It's like... Inter oh, wow, really? Yeah, so it's not like a live session where I can't see you, only you can see me. It's like, I can see and hear you, you can see and hear me, and we're having a conversation like we're doing right now on TVB. So you get that personal training experience. Can I... Can I'm gonna I, show you. Can, yeah. I mute myself, can I mute myself when I start puking? <laughs> Yo, I yeah, swear. but the only rule is you gotta stay in the camera. If you be trying to like oh, not be in the camera, no, you gotta be in the camera. Like she that's is, the only. You know, I'm, I'm hitting squats, but I'm really not. I'm just bending. <laughs> <Right. at> the, <laughs> come back, <laughs> eat the bagels. Yeah, Enrique, I'm your mic not connected, Enrique. Blood. But uh, can everybody give their outros? I already gave mine. I did. I did. 
Um, Yo, TBV underscore casual fan. Follow me. Follow me. That's my Twitter. That's my YouTube. My Patreon. I just Yo, get out from underwater, B. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my phone. That's why YouTube, I just uploaded. I mean, no, I'm sorry, not YouTube. I just uploaded a Kodo Daniel Gill media press conference on my Patreon, Boxing Fan Apparel. Yo, Peace. Cash, throw the potpourri up in the air, champ. Get out of here. Shut up. <laughs> At Miss Bougie Boxing, B O U G I E Boxing on Instagram. And I just want to say thank you for a great show. I am feeling J-Mac. mad under the weather right now. And Hold up, Dominique. I'm Don't like, go. J huh? Mac got another counter punch for you on the way oh. out. Oh, okay. He will not go into the dark. Come on, give me, give me. Give me two back to back. In the same argument, you would talk about the zone's appetite for Demetrius Andrade, but excuse Canelo and argue Orozado and think that makes sense. And you tell me that I talk and I don't have no, like, I don't know boxing, but you just hardcore, but you still arguing for a guy that got arguing 12 losses to fight Canelo, the cash cow. Canelo is the cash cow for stipulations. That's why I call in on him and I always give him what it is because you guys accept whatever Canelo brings to the table. Demetri Andrade is on record for calling Canelo a female dog and Canelo has never addressed it. This guy has been calling for Canelo since 154 when Canelo was fighting at 155 because he couldn't make 154. Uh, I've been on record saying he's been avoiding Andrade. He avoided Andrade because he fought Liam Smith for the WBO belt. When Andrade had it, he ain't going nowhere near it. So why aren't you sitting up here clamoring for Demetrius Andrade when it would be exciting? The press conference, it'll be a high fight. He brings the energy. He has the personality to sell. And plus, Canelo is Mr. Cash Cow. So he could get in the ring and fight anybody and be just fine. But you up here arguing for a uh, Rosado? I mean, I mean, Rosado is on record for getting his ass whipped by everybody he stepped up in. And all respect to him, but that's not the right fight. Jonathan Sims said, you and y'all all arguing saying that makes sense. I don't understand how that makes sense. If you're the cash cow, you can get put in there with anybody. And the fight goes. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Yeah, man. I mean, Cut look, it. dude. Stop. I mean, I, I, I would love to just keep trying to, you know, give you different metaphors and ways to help you understand. Um, but you just don't get it, bro. I mean, there's nothing we can do, you know? Yeah, there's nothing we can do. I mean, if you think that, you know, during COVID and this pandemic, they're going to pay Canelo $36 million. Plus, uh, Andre, I don't know, Billy Joe was being offered, what, $8 million, right? Something so, like that. So, so what is Andre going to want? Oh, and, and factor in now, uh, Mario, that Andre is going to want more because he fights at 160, not 168. So mm-hmm. it's out of his division. That's more negotiation, um, you know, but I don't know. Yeah, man, next time. Catch finish? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> I was saying thank you guys for a great show and I was feeling mad under the weather. That's why my voice sounds so deep today. But, you know, this was like some sunshine for me. So thank you to the best. I'm on like YouTube with like the best people in the whole wide world and with the best callers in the whole wide world. And thank you for the sunshine. Thank you, Dominique, because I forgot who said it, one of the callers, but it's nice to hear a nice voice in the morning, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and you brought a lot to the table. So, um, yeah, great show all around, guys. Y'all did a great job. We'll see you six, uh, seven o'clock Eastern tonight. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace. Cheers.